Okay, Chad. 1 to 100. Rogue leveling speed run. We have the Vampire Queen that looks like Junker, as we just talked about. We have, I think, four hours that I want to test this out today with a method we have laid out. Because we're going to be playing the... That's the build we're going for, pretty much. Uh, we're going to be playing the... Sirocco Caverns is what I got in mind. Okay? Start the thing. Seasonal Realm. Continue. Skip the campaign. Adventure rank 1. And as soon as this is loaded in, we start the timer to see how fast it is. Let's see if we can do make it way faster than the necro we need to start the quest though this is like a little bit of a downside because if you're not doing the quest you don't get the vampire powers and we do want the vampire powers straight away the good thing is we can get all the abilities right so we have already 10 points we're gonna take strike into enhanced strike and primary strike then we get rapid fire already and we also get penetrating shot with the bonuses. And last but not least, we can either get shadow step or dash already. Mm. Let's do shadow step for now. So I need to see where which 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 is my main ability going to be. I need to. This is my right click, so that's going to be my strike. Be my. Okay. That's then me shadow stepping. I never played Rogue before. So this is the first time playing Rogue. Dime, good to see you there. Howdy. The first time for me ever playing Rogue, okay? I, I know I know nothing about rogues. So we'll have to we'll have to see how how fast we can go here. Let's right up. Penetrating shot is crazy. The plan is to essentially play the Sirocco Caverns, which is Spider Caverns. And it is a very tight area. So where everything just stands right next to each other. And the Sirocco Caverns should be extremely easy to essentially farm down with Penetrating Shot. And not only should the Sirocco Caverns be really easy to farm down, as soon as we get the Penetrating Shot Aspect roll in, then we can like twice as easy get things done, essentially. Oh, Godness Christ. So, could be really nice, tight spaces, having like bonus, bonus shots arc off. Could be good. I mean, right now, it just goes through, right? But if it just goes through and then goes out, hmm, could be, could be good. Uh, we can take the dash too if we want to. Now we have the bonus dash on top of all the dashes we have already. Yeah, but pen is for, for mobs, and I, I see that. Like, we're, we're trying to learn the ins and outs of what Rogue has to offer, because, again, I, I've never played Rogue before, right? So so this is me not having a clue what to what to remotely expect from Rogue at this point. Um, If it's if it's strong, I mean, it, it is strong. There's no questions about it. How often I have to use my auto attack, because the energy restoration seems insane. We just seem to get energy back like crazy. Okay, we could already get the Concealment too. Concealment would be for bonus movement speed. And when we break out of Concealment, we do. And Dark Shroud is Shadows, Gain Damage Reduction. Ah, okay. You're invisible. And then come out. Pew! Bad. Dash. Dash. Oh, that's that's what's doing the damage, okay. And then you just I'm just right now I'm just feeling a little bit I'm I'm doing things and I don't know what what, what my abilities are actually doing because I never played rogue, so well, I have to learn this. Uh then the the clan should always have spaces free. Stream boom hatchot. If I do enough damage, I'll start screaming that. I also need to understand what these things are doing. Gain bonus when attacking based on weapon type. Ooh, interesting. So we need to critical strikes and enemy grants movement speed. That makes me faster. Close damage reduction. We don't need that yet, correct? I mean, this is damaging an enemy with shadow step increases your critical strike chance. Oh, that's nice. 
Enemies damaged by dash tag increase critical strike damage. Cool. This is after knocking back. Your evade cooldown is reduced seconds when you daze an enemy. Oh. Okay, we'll, we'll try Shadow Stab. Shadow Stab was become unstoppable. Stab enemies from behind and increase movement speed. Yeah, that, that's just good versus bosses too, right? So you just Shadow Stab and then <laughs> bleed damage. Nacht Euler, good morning. Good to see you there. And right now I'm just putting things on the table and I don't even know what things do. Right? Sup, Jay? Also, Steven, good to see you there. Stabity stab, 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 stabity stab. Now we need to go essentially into the Helltide for a second. I mean, as soon like, unlock Vampiric Power, step one. Right? That's, that's like what you want to do. You want to unlock Vampiric Power, step one, get Hemomancy, step two, and then we're rushing down the dungeon. Okay, Eris, thank you very much. Now we get Vampiric Powers, right? Good. Um, Continue. We want Prey on the Weak. We want... Robin's Fangs. We're just looking for Hemomancy at this point. Rampart. Unlock everything at least. Hemomancy. Done. Hemomancy is what you want to work, right? Like there, there there's no, nothing else has to work but Hemomancy. Okay, before we go into any kind of dungeon, you go into the we're going into the vamp vampire event. That's four minutes. Oh yikes. Because we just want to open some coffins, right? Can you move the clock down left or right? No, the clock is in a in a decent position, so there's no problem where the clock is. Not in town. One thing that's missing on the clock though is that the outline is actually uh for some reason white. Let's go. You're going to start D4 now and start a rogue, but you're going to do a different build? That sounds great. I heard Twisting Blade's also really good. So we need sarco Sarcophagus. Sarc sarcophagus. Are they always in the same position? Wait, wait. Are these Sarcophagus always in the same position? That's a very good question that I've never needed to ask. Oh, does, does the dash go through everyone and do the same damage to everyone? It does. Interesting. But I'm not interested in, like, killing you guys. Right now, right now, I really want to have the 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 the, sh the the penetrating shot like like bonus skill that makes the penetrating shot arc out, but useful. But I want to open sarcophagus. I really quickly want to get just some yellow gear here. The yellow gear is just usually waiting for you, right, to be picked up. There's no tomorrow. Oh, you're targeting enemies directly with this. Okay, that makes sense. This is quite nice, like, for, for just pulling these. You know, we're, we're just stringing them along. And then we just kill everyone. And then you can just dash through, kill everyone again. Useful. <laughs> Yeah, but we need to go into the cavern. And I need my penetrating shot thingy. But I also need to find, like... Where's where's the... Where's the loot? Yeah, here. Hey, you see, this is what I was looking for. Because I just quickly want to... to get items that we are actually able to get freaking Hemomancy working. I mean, we could probably just, just easily... Um... Pick up our... There it goes. Need 
Hey, where are you running? That's a weather to me. The, the base attack of rogue seems a bit lackluster right now, but maybe it's just me not understanding yet how good it could feel, you know? Ah, uh, that is a new chest. That is new pants. I need more. Ah, oh, there, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. Thank you very much. But we, have, we haven't found a weapon yet. Has me, has me saddened. Okay, is, is Hemomancy? Oh no, no, here we get Hemomancy activated, right? Yeah, yeah. This, this is this is having Hemomancy activated. Okay. Crusaders, Renegades. Where's Sirocco Caverns again? Chat, we, we found it last time. There, Sirocco Caverns. Which is the best basic skill we'll see. The class did fail, just missing too much. Not oil. Yeah, kind of. You need a barb? No, 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 no. I, I, I tried, I tried playing a barb, and I just, I just really, really just want to shoot myself every single second I play a barb. Okay, it's it's not that 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 barb is just absolutely boring. It's just that barb is absolutely boring, and I don't enjoy barb at all. So, okay, so here we go. One, one, two, three. Oh, you gain four forty energy when you use concealment. Okay, well that's useful, I guess. When you get 40 energy for using concealment. I know we're not having potions right now, chat. That's fine. I just want to see how fast we live in the caverns. Uh, Joy Barb it is what it is, you know? But Rogue, Rogue, the whole concept of Rogue, like, I'm not sure how I feel about the energy yet because your, your energy seems like, it seems almost endless to a degree, but then it doesn't seem endless. But also the attacks are not really, they're not restoring energy, right? It's damage and increasing energy generation by 20%. So... So your basic skills don't actually give you energy. They just increase the energy render generation, correct? It's like something that that's a bit weird to me right now. I, I got to get used to like how how does energy restoration truly work on a rogue? Like how, how do you go with it? Right? What if I know concealment also gives me 40 back? That's good to know. See, now, now I get 40 energy back. That's good. Also, Hemomancy is working. That's amazing. And we can put Undying. Uh, undying wouldn't work. That one will work. That won't work. Yeah, because then, then with Hemomancy, you're just going through this dungeon and you're just essentially killing everything, right? That's plenty good. I need more time. Yep. <laughs> That's, where, that's why I really like farming dungeons with the vampiric powers, right? Because the, the enemy density is, like, really decent on this one. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. Come, on, come with me. I said, come with me. I still I still really don't understand like everything about the rogue. I mean here I can get my energy back, right? And then I can shoot this. But I'm I'm just I'm just I don't know. Why does why does energy restoration feel so weird on a rogue? Or is it or is it just me? That's just not used to what rogue can do right now. Oh uh, getting out of concealment will guaranteed critical strike. Well that's interesting now. So I know when I come out of concealment with the with the uh, shot that I'll guarantee critical strike. Well, that's kind of nice. So I can do this and then. Bam. It would have helped to find like new weapons by now. Oh, thank you. Do I even use two-handed swords? 
I got a new weapon. -na 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 -na. Go back into concealment. And then bam. I, I like the, the 40 energy back thingy. That really makes me happy right now. Bob was great after level 70. Well, well, that sounds really boring. If, if you're, if, if Barb felt great after level 70, you know, if you like that, that's the thing I want to enjoy it straight from the beginning. Uh, Pearson shot is pretty lame later or email. I did create a rapid fire that restores energy uh, when you hit vulnerable. That sounds good. You know, I like watching a new class. I like learning things, you know. Uh, does Prey on the Weak have a lucky chance? What do you mean with Prey on the Weak? Prey on the Weak doesn't do damage. Oh, how's Prey? Oh, that, that's, that's, uh, the thingy. That's cool. How's Prey on the Weak gonna have a lucky chance? I finally, I finally see why, why people that don't play Necro think Necro is slow. Because everything else is just so fast. You know? So, like, honestly, for me... For me, Rogue just feels fast. You know, there, there's a difference in perception. People say Necro feels slow. What I say is Rogue feels fast because I I don't feel Necro is slow. You know, it's just it's just merely not as fast as you know. But but for me personally, I'm I'm okay with slow. I am slow myself. I'm the type of gamer to like slow. Ryan? I like I like rain of arrows, especially because you can you can do it on one target. I wasn't like sure if I'm gonna enjoy rain of arrows as a skill. But hey, you can you can do it on one target, that's kinda cool. Ah! Oh, you get late low chat. What was that? It was damage. Jesus. Oh, a new bow. A blue bow. That's better than my bow. Let's go. Finally damage. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, Chan. That's what I'm talking about. Out of my way. I'm ready. Bam! That's why that's why leveling a new class is fun. Because you don't you don't get that feeling anymore when you're level 100, right? You're not having this like like I'm I'm insane. Don't, don't try to stop me. I'm dangerous. Okay, what, what, what do we need to do? I think at this point we do critical strikes, enemies, grounds, movement speed. To zoom faster. Or here more, more damage multipliers, right? I don't even know what, what's like the most beneficial for leveling right now. Right, I guess the bonus movement speed would be nice so I can just zoom faster. You know what? I think that that's it, right? We want the critical strikes give you bonus movement speed so I can just uh, zoom faster through dungeons at this point. Because the faster I can zoom through dungeons, the better it goes for us. Alright, so so if I crit strike and then, then I can... Damn. One done and done. Oh, you just got destroyed, sir. Mm-hmm. Go through him. And done. Perfection. That was my first Sirocco Caverns, but I can I can still not use the Enchanter, correct? I can still not use the Enchanter. These are not the Domheim Tunnels. This is the Sirocco Caverns. I refuse to actually do the Domheim Tunnels because I think the Sirocco Caverns should be faster, personally. I'm, I might be wrong about this one, right? Um, but due to the layout of the caverns, they are just way easier to... Um, navigate than the Domheim tunnels because in the Domheim tunnels you actually need to free the prisoners which is like really weird it's always with a downtime of freeing the prisoners where in this one you run in one circle and then in the other circle it just it just makes perfect sense right we, we just go through and it's these spider opponents that actually spawn more spiders and they're they're so like look at this one penetrating shot just goes through everything due to the whole layout of the dungeon so I, f I feel like this this is just made for for like for like this kind of rogue to, to be able to allow me to just zoom through. See, like, everyone spawns, but we have, like, one, one shot. 
again everyone then and we can zoom through with our with our dash right we get the bonus movement speed we can essentially zoom faster here i'm just getting more movement speed and we could also just level up penetrating shot i guess we get the one movement speed bonus and then i just level up penetrating shot to essentially just be penetrating harder so it's just like that the the layout of this like is beneficial for the build shoot my energy empty conceal myself get more energy shoot everyone dash here in the corner get some energy back and dash through everything again and nice And that's where where I think this is just so much better than Dumheim tunnels. I mean, seriously, where's where's Dum What does Dumheim tunnel want to do here against against our speed farm? Damn. Da -da -da. And then Hemomancy also damages everyone right in in a like in a room. So so that's anyways gonna work out good. Just makes so much sense. You know, bam! Everything then. Well, I'm usually against dungeon farming for anything, but I just want to try out how it feels. That makes sense. Does this always compare to both or just compare to one? I'm never sure. The Poison Nightmare 90 is pretty crazy. Well, you just got to get used to that. I mean, like it's 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 just something you you get used to and then and then it's not a problem anymore. Does Hemomancy have a lucky hit chance? I'll go and say no, but this is definitely not a confirmed or a 100%. Okay. What's the green aura? Uh, the green aura is just literally a player highlight because it just looks cool. Oh, the days. <laughs> I, I like that I can make myself invulnerable. Does this work in high nightmare dungeons to, to not be targetable, essentially? Does this make me untargetable? Completely? Just out of interest. Not, not that I'm planning to do that, but I just want to know. This is a very, like, see, r right now I just like the... The movement of rogue. I, I wasn't sure if I'm going to enjoy the movement of rogue because, you know, I, I'm a slow player. I like, I like it slow. Um, I don't, I don't mind if things are not moving at the speed of light, right? So, so for me, for me, speed has never been like a limiting factor for my necro. But if this is, if this is like the, the rogue movement that I can essentially like accelerate my, my dungeoneering a little bit and just move a bit faster through dungeons. You know what? I, I, I like that. I don't have a problem with it, especially like the, the that you have range attacks makes me kind of happy right now. It's hard. It's hard to explain why why I'm enjoying this right now. I just I just do, you know. I just I just simply do enjoy this. Okay, out out of the dungeon. The plus 20 combo points for Wolfie Good Lighter. Like, luckily, I have a bunch of T-Bolds will saved up for this scenario. I mean, right now we are far away from this, but I also just want to see how, how fast do you truly level when you actually spam a dungeon. I mean, we're 23 minutes in, right? We're doing quite quite decent our level, but we're getting there. You don't have to free any prisoners in, in Domheim Tunnel. It's true. Like, you can also go through without freeing the prisoners. Maybe I just like murdering spiders, guys. Maybe, you know, maybe I hate goats and I just like murdering spiders. And that's the reason why I prefer this over Domheim Tunnels. There, maybe, Chan, there, there's a world where I just hate goats and I uh, hate spiders. And goats, but I hate spiders more than goats. Whatever you would hate goats. I mean, seriously, who hates goats? They're cute. Have you ever seen a cute baby goat? Exactly, Chan. I mean, what are you, some some sick weirdo, some weirdo sicko? 
Or what have goats ever done to you? I mean, we all probably fought against a goat when we were children because that's just normal. I mean, who, who, who hasn't fought against a goat in their life already? Because they have been at a zoo with a petting, like a petting zoo, and they got attacked by a bunch of goats. I mean, that's the normal childhood, to be honest. Seal man, crit. Backstab. Stab, stab. Dash through. Shoot an arrow. I'm not ready yet. Oh, Sanja, greetings to you and Seahorrors. Pleasure to have you both there and good to see you still being together. Hope you're feeling fantastic and life's good. Long time no see indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a warm welcome for Sanja and, and Mr. Seahorse in the background? They're, they're two very, very old, very long supporters. I've been here since forever. But actually met through the stream. If I have every, if I have all my details correct, Chan, two people that met through the stream, which is almost my, my favorite thingy, when people actually get to know each other through this place and time. That's weaker than what I have here right now. Right? And still happily married. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. No bonus XP elixir. Uh, I, I honestly, I haven't just crafted one yet. Uh, Judismo. I, I, we, haven't, we haven't crafted one. I mean, I, I will go back into the city as soon as I unlock the crafting ability. Because I want to get that bonus penetrating shot thingy where you get like bows. So that's going to be interesting. Also, I'm still not sure if this actually feels much faster than Blood Harvest. Because Blood Harvest has just such a nice enemy density. That I am not sure, like, if, if this does feel much improved to the enemy density that Blood Harvest has. Because, damn, we, we all know how good Blood Harvest is, right? Especially with the Vampiric Siphons and things like that. I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm, net, I'm net total slower than when I when I would do this. Oh, we'll, we'll see. Like, we'll, we'll keep this up for a bit, tempo-wise. I mean, it's simpler because I know where the opponents are, if that makes sense. So I don't have to run around and, like, hope that they're opponents. Like, they are they are just opponents. Right? But still... Oh, oh I bag you. Are you going to turn now, finally? Thank you. <laughs> Just waiting for you to turn. You see you're still around hey I'm, I'm like i'm like uh weeds you don't you don't get rid of me ever Un unless no one wants to watch me anymore and then, then i'm gone obviously <laughs> but else I'm, I'm like weeds weeds is it the word weeds the, the things that grow out of the earth that are very hard to get rid of weeds yeah i guess no maybe well that, that that's it uh, well, I want to say that that's it. Uh, more spawning. It was plenty fast. Can I, can I please leave? The problem with these like mid mid events is that they're actually not giving you any experience. So that's like that's like the only downside. Wait, actually, I I am not sure if they fixed it that they are at the end giving you experience because they they don't give you kind of like experience per se, you know, straight away. But they might, they might at the end actually give you experience. Because I, I just recently noticed that, that actually at the end of these events, there is always an experience counter popping up. That I haven't noticed the first six times ever. That you're then just suddenly getting actually a burst of experience. And we're done. Hanging lame. Right. Any pure range builds? I mean, this this is as rangy as it goes. The problem is that, um, well, like rogue by nature wants to get closer still because you you get like the concealment dash in, uh, you you get the shadow stab dash in, you have the dash in general. So these these abilities you don't want to miss out on because they're amazing, right? Let's put on the second ring. Now, let me see. What, what, how much do I have to healing potion upgrade in order to, um, in order to get enchanting? I would have to quickly do a dungeon I haven't done before, right? 
That's how you unlock enchanting right right away. <laughs> I was able to run dopamine tunnels twice and bored and left to do something else. Well, I just I just want to try out things, you know? Like it's it's once in a while that I really want to see if if I can do things a little bit different than usual. Because I usually never would level with a dungeon push. Uh, I also like would never play rogue, but here we are leveling now with a dungeon push and we're essentially going to try out to see how how well does this feel if you're if you're essentially doing it with a rogue this way. A core aspect for bone spear and necro while leveling mm, splintering. I mean, you, you're going to play umbral anyways because of the essence regeneration and you might also want to get the one that restores your essence on bone crit. Probably. Right? Fair game too much hate? Yes, absolutely, JD. I mean, the game, the, again, the game deserves every single hate it's getting. <laughs> the game deserves every single hated gun for, for what, it, like, for everything, right? Still, though, uh, like, it changed and it's, like, like, at a point now where it doesn't deserve the hate it's getting anymore. By far. Oh, we can probably just run through this one. Yeah. We can probably just run through this one to destroy the corpse gates. Interesting if it would be worth it to... to fight these nerds. Ow. Ow, they're, they're, they're tough, tough beam. Or rogue this early on. Oh, great. The, the moment the moment you're just missing. You know, one thing I need to learn is that, that actually a rain of arrows can be spammed as well. Because right now I'm, I'm like always spamming penetrating shot, but I just need to understand that rain of arrows is just a core skill, right? I, I can I can just spam that. Because it's just like I always use penetrating shot for everything, but when I, I can just I can just spam that too. 14. And for this one, I would really like to have the pen shot right now in, in a higher, uh, with the pen shot aspect. Perfection. Ow, I get stunned by things. Ow, I guess some by things again. Cool. Travel to the festering ruins. I mean, I just need to do this dungeon to get my first aspect unlocked, right? There we get all of this. Wait, no. I, I need a damage scaler now. I need one more point, and then I'll wait. You know what? I need one more point. That is the movement speed point right now. Then we start to get the, the lower half thingies. That's better boots. I'll collect animus from animus carriers. I remember. Oh no. I remember this dungeon being absolutely atrocious. Yikes. Mistakes were made, Chan. Does Bone Spirit from the Unique get any benefit from levels in Bone Spirit and the other talents? Yes. <clears throat> the other talents work on Bone Spirit. So if you level that up to get the essence back from Bone Spirit, for example, that works too. Um so not not completely wasted points. I am traveling quite a significant distance here right now just to to make my way downtown walking fast looking good oh god no oh god no i went the wrong direction there's two directions you can go actually killing killing like the animus carriers right or you can go directly to the boss and if you're if you're unlucky you just step the wrong direction uh, I went unlucky. We stepped the wrong direction. There, There's an animus carrier here, but we obviously didn't want to go straight to the animus carrier. Wait, I, I can miss? I thought this was auto-aim. Come on. 
Does my style of bow limit the things I can do? I need time to do that. No, it doesn't, right? Let's see, man, move faster, 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 faster. Can I? Oh, I can. Ooh. Rogue just got nicer. Mm. That I am not sure of, William, to be honest. Uh, so you just attack slower with this. But the slower attack doesn't matter if if your if your attack is down to the multi-shot, I see. Oh, interesting. So bow, bow attack mucho fast, uh, but arbalist attack mucho slower. But mucho slower no matter if if you essentially wow, <laughs> if you essentially just one shot things, huh? Cool. I like what I see. Boop. Oh. These boots are made for walking. Do, 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 do. I can put on a better chest because I found boots that have one hemomancy on it. Again, it's all it's all about getting the hemomancy, right? Like nothing different. Just just get me that hemomancy and, and the rest doesn't matter. No, I'm not ready yet. So Rogue can only have daggers? Nothing else? There are no other weapon Rogue can have? The swords, right? Swords too. You some of the hate versus what was addressed. I mean, it, it was just like missing endgame content and not like people felt the game wasn't ready on release and some other shenanigans. But but all in all, the game really uh, got better with season two now. I mean, r right now, my main recommendation is buy the game on Steam. See if you like it. And if you don't, after two hours, have any fun playing it. Guess what? Refund the game. Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage. Wow. That's that. Wow. Okay, cool. I need to actually go back to Kirby Shot for that, right? When you when you do the concealment and you get a, like, 100% uh, crit, right? And then you go, like, crit, 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 crit. That's cool. You deal 18% increased damage to healthy and injured enemies. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so what, what I need right now is an amulet. Step number one. Oh, I didn't get an amulet yet. Yikes. So we just beat the caverns that I can now go for my ring. And my ring gets the Hatchmaster Blade Corruption Rapid Trickshot. So now Trickshot says, whenever penetrating shot damages an enemy, two additional arrows split off and do damage. Right? Seems good. Can I have that? Why not? No, that's not what I wanted to do. So I'd say after like doing the first levels now in the tunnels, I want to take this aspect right now and bring it out quickly to the blood harvest and just see how how much if the blood harvest actually does feel any faster right um right now we just one two three i like to do that i'm just trying to get new weapons where's the blood harvest do that i feel like the blood harvest you should always do the um, the whispers, right? No matter if you're dungeon pushing, no matter if you're just farming Domheim tunnels, it kind of makes like no sense to not get the whispers, right? Anyone agree? Disagree? Because you're gonna you're gonna have to do it anyways. Wow, that that's that's nice. That's very useful to get that. Yeah. That's quite that's quite useful. It's like the main thing I would always take away from every from every single blood harvest 
Get the get the whispers. I'm not ready yet. Um, oh wait, wait, we have a we have a we have a passive quest. What, what's my passive? What's my specialization? What do I do with specializations? I have to do this straight away now. Probably should do this straight away now. I didn't I didn't even know a rogue had something. Okay, where, where do I have to go for this? True potential. Okay. Going. That's that's new! I didn't know. <laughs> what do combo points even do? Never played any Diablo game. Is this any good? Uh go on Steam, buy the game, you get two hours to try. After one hour and fifty-nine minutes, if you don't like the game, refund it. My my absolute recommendation. ARPGs are different. Uh, up to 10% chance to gain eight. And oh, nice. I can do this. I can do that. That's great. Yeah. No, wait, this is better. While moving, increase energy. Yeah, that's fantastic. Because I'm always moving. I'm like never stopping. It's better than the lucky hit chance, actually. Oh, interesting. But now I see how the lucky hit chance T-Balls will super combo wumble points. Might be overpowered if you have that kind of lucky hit chance. See, I'm learning things about the rogue. It's it's great. I'm just like, what the? This is brilliant. Okay, hello, my my friend there. Find signs of Bakira. Bakira. Just want to say hi. Thanks for all the awesome content. Happy you're enjoying the content. Thank you very much. Also, no matter if you're a lurker, active chatter, or or just, you know, posting weird memes. Uh, all is appreciated, my friend. What's in two days? Abattoir Ziar. The Abattoir Zia is in two days. It's very close. We can't wait for it. I will stream straight up in the evening. And we're going to try to push as far as we can, essentially. Straight away. Try, trying to get to... Um, wait, follow the trail? Which trail? Let's follow the trail. There's no trail. Which trail? Which trail? Here. It goes it goes here. Okay. <laughs> don't don't you don't you dare. Don't you tempt me, Frodo. Uh the DLC no, it's an event. It's happening. I followed the trail. But now do I have to go inside here? Yeah, bitte. Yeah, I'm you off. Heute nie. Is my tiny daughter? Hold up. Is the counter from the beginning from playing rogue? Yes. Not just okay, rogue, find Bakira. So now I have to go into the dungeon, right? So we started playing rogue 43 minutes ago. Yes. Um, it's like feels like a bit slow going. If I'm honest with you. My goat refuses to die. I, need more time. I, to, I say ne necro fields vastly more efficient. <laughs> I hate to be this guy, guys. I don't want to. I want to hype up necro and the leveling speed of necro. It's just in general what what necro can do with the with the blood surge is just it's just nice, stupid. Because you you just like one hit whole 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 rooms like this this whole room just gets one hit with like like a few blood surges in the in the very beginning. You essentially never run out of energy. 
So this is like interesting how how Necro so far from all my leveling has felt like some of the strongest leveling I've ever done, simply due to it just being like Necro. Well, are you children, by the way? Uh, four and a half and three plus a little bit. And yes, they're also growing way too fast. Unreasonably fast. Also, my three-year-old is in love with a boy called Finn, who she doesn't, uh, who she too shy to talk to, even though she's not shy at all. And my four-year-old wants to marry her best friend, Enna, even though she says she knows she has to marry a boy whenever she thinks she has to, but, uh, yeah. Children, right? 13k armor without the buff will be enough. Should be enough. Yes. Can I just run through this dungeon and just find Bakira? Or is Bakira at the end of the dungeon? You know? So I'm just I'm just running around here actually playing the dungeon. But do I ha actually have to do that? You know, do I actually have to play the dungeon? No, I just had to find Bakira, right? Yeah. Well, that was a that was nice damage. Hehehe. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be even worth it to finish the dungeon, right? There, there's like nothing gained for finishing the dungeon, so we get we get this one done. So the best way to get Godsire Crown, uh, do real, do real. But Godsire Crown ain't actually that good. Isn't it faster to speedrun without doing the main campaign? This is not the main campaign. This is the, this is the the rogue quest line for combo points. So now I get combo points. I, I don't know what what like combo points actually do, what they're good for. Why do I need combo points? What we're doing right now is we're doing the um the uh, blood harvest until we have the. Um, things done until we have the whispers done and then we push dungeons okay so blood harvest until whispers done then we push the sirocco caverns that's currently my my plan for fast leveling uh usually i spend no time in dungeons at all but i wanted to this time try out how efficient it would be to essentially hog some dungeons Especially because rogue, like, like due to the penetrating rogue, like being so useful in what it does. Oh no, you just put one point in here and the other point. Well, buff. Oh, that's nice. So we just we just move faster. I see. Thank you very much for giving me. Thank you very much. Smart. I can restore my pens, but I can't restore the other stuff. Well, that that's very good gloves because now I can actually change my chest too. Because before I, I had to always look out that I'm having enough uh, packs going on. Because we need we need a certain we need hemomancy. If you don't have hemomancy going on, you might as well go home. Okay, which other one is missing? We got that one done. We need to kill Blood Reavers and we need to save villagers. Okay. You finally beat Lilith. This is what I like to hear, my friend. I mean, don't forget, guys, you need to actually beat the seasonal journey if you want to play the Abattoir of Zir, if you want to participate in the Abattoir of Zir. You need to actually beat the seasonal journey. I know it's a bit weird that that is a requirement, but it is. So just be ready for that. Because if you haven't gotten that, so I don't know what combo points actually do. Uh, your basic skills, general core skills, consume combo points for additional effects. Ah, I see. So you, you're essentially forced to use basic skills as a rogue. That's interesting. And I wanted to play a class that doesn't that doesn't use basic skills, and then I just go, I just go play a rogue, which is the class that does does need to play basic skills, or or it won't work. You know. <laughs> great, great pony. Smart decisions were made, huh? 
Or is there another way to make combo points? Matt Scouts, you can use any. Like, I mean, the, the God Slayer is just a nice little bonus, but you don't, you don't need it. Oh, I did not mean to... I did not mean to summon the boss event alone, but I guess if I need to kill 150 of these guys, so, you know, why why not? Why, yeah, you know what? Why not just do this? <laughs> why, 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 why not? I mean, more, the more the merrier, especially while, while we have Hemomancy active. It's like something, right? You see how everything actually dies. Ryan. I, need more time. I thought Rogue was squishier. Okay, let's get the let's get this done so I can return into my dungeon grinding. It's actually funny because I'll finish the event in like in another ten minutes where we're gonna have the we're gonna have the blood harvest done. Then we have ten minutes of dungeon grinding. Then we go like another. And we go another 20 minutes of finishing the next blood harvest and then we need to go for for like you know 30 minutes of dungeon grinding and then then we should already be level 35 and then we can probably burst through the capstone dungeon i mean i, I would just assume you do the capstone dungeon with 35 right anyone anyone has a different opinion oh shit ow ow Harsh? Ow? Oh yeah, that, that's useful. I'm not gonna lie, that was that was nice. Okay, that that makes my life not not easier. It makes my oh shit. Okay, one one dead. But you you get triple uniques from that. You get triple um. Yeah, you get, you get spammed. You get spammed. I'm surprised how much how much energy Rogue has. Like you, you would expect Rogue to like at some point run out of energy, right? But for some reason, for some reason it doesn't. You know, I'm I'm just I'm just standing here and I'm just standing. Do -do 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 -do. And you just you just keep keep having like energy for days, and then then you have just energy for a few more days, and then you have energy for days. <laughs> Yeah. A 40 to 44, okay? Yeah, I mean I'm just I'm just looking for a general baseline when people do their capstones. I tend to do all my capstones with 35. 35 is usually uh what I aim for getting a capstone done um if possible. If not possible, that's that's okay. Okay, there's a there's a nice little find. Now we do lucky hit chance to gain back energy. Why not? Uh, we get all of this. We need to go back to our Sirocco caverns. Reset dungeon. Oh wait, how, do I even have everything done? No, I needed to. Oh, I need to kill six more ghouls. Jesus, almost teleported out. Done. I thought penetrating shot was good, but the the rain of arrows is quite decent as well, huh? And here I thought penetrating shot is the cool skill. Oh, that that's a lot of. Uh... Whoa, ho, ho. that was that was that was nice damage. I like that. Yeah, if, if you're not like these weird ass, like way too strong dudes. Nice. Nice. That's a new crossbow. After all this time, Chad, finally a new crossbow. 
been, it's been a hot minute. Okay, we kind of need to save uh, X more villagers quickly. Did someone just save my villager. I don't appreciate it. Yeah, I, I want to save him too. Better than what I have. Uh, as long as I keep these gloves, I think we're fine. Oh, wait, is there another villager coming? Just, I just need to save like one more, one more villager somewhere. I mean, two, two more villagers somewhere. Did you scream boom hatchet? Honestly, I, I forgot. I'm sorry. Please don't hunt me down. Non-physical damage you deal has increased lucky. Oh, interesting. And that is every hundred energy you spend grounds you increase lucky edge and ah, oh. ah, oh. ah. Oh. Interesting. I'm just I'm just trying to get like behind all these abilities and they they like if they make sense and they actually do make sense, which is bringing to me. Oh, I'm here, Siphon. It's like Rogue can't actually stay in here long. Because, you know, I, I don't have any kind of life leech. Is this why Rogue wants Andariel's visage, guys? Oh, I need to get out. Get out. Sorry, I wasn't tough enough, chat. I wasn't tough enough. I wasn't tough enough. Could you stop molesting those poor prisoners? Because I kind of need to free them. No, I, I kind of need to free some humans. I'm Diablo on an RPG first. I'm having trouble with finding good gear. End game. Any tips? Do real. So if you want to find good gears, you do Hell Tides. Uh, then you do Grigoire. There you can already get good gear. Uh, when you find the living steel and then you do Duriel, and that's where the 925 gear drops Keep in mind it might just take an absolutely abhorrent amount of time to find new gear I am now for days and I wish I was lying, but I am now for days looking for any improvement on my gloves uh, And for weeks on a helmet so two weeks I'm already looking for a helmet improval and I have not found one that is because my helmet is already really, really good. So finding finding a better helmet is it's not a problem of of like of finding helmets. It's more a problem of my helmet really, 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 really being good. You know, you know. But it's still still plenty annoying because you actually want to have upgrades. So so don't don't fret, don't worry if you're not finding upgrades because it might it might just take some time to find upgrades. Um but it can feel horrible and they definitely are having to do something about itemization. Because it can't be that I'm literally going to like I'm I'm not even having like S tier items. So so my items are good, but they're far from like being the best available. But even even with merely good items or okay items, I, I am still having a huge problem in finding an upgrade. And I don't think that's that's cool. You know, it's, it's not like we're talking about like finding finding the, the better Uber unique or anything. We're just talking about finding a, a better, a better, complete, normal rolled item. Like, please. Ryan? Is there, is there is there any range limit to to the shots that rogue has there's a kiss like as long as it's like on my screen it seems to be hittable you know and now now we have saved everyone right we have one whispers done which is quite amazing to be honest Because now we can hand the whispers in and then we can go farm the cavern. Hand that in. Tree of Whispers should drop better gear. Uh, still, yes, uh, Tree of Whispers could drop better gear. Joe, see you soon. Thank you very much. For the time you had spending here. I can't do that here. 
Like, I'm, Tree of Whispers, Helltides, all the Legion events, all these things, they like, uh, like they, they just reach way too fast the point where they feel obsolete. Where it's completely like, why would I even bother doing this? You know? And that's, that's never a good thing. Not in town. You know, I, I don't, I don't want to ever get to the point where I'm like, oh yeah, this, this just feels completely useless. Great. Because who, who wants to, who wants to get to that point? An activity by nature should just never reach the point of feeling wasted. Yeah, that was a nice increase in, in damage. And now the blood harvest event is running down for another 10 minutes and we're essentially going to the Sirocco caverns. All right, the next videos. Thank you, Smiggly. I and mean, we're also trying out Rogue right now because I just want to see how fast we can level Rogue, how, how fast we can go forward there. Mm, we'll see. Real. I need time to do that. And now we're f first time going in here with the new aspect. It's gonna be interesting to see. I started playing level forty-two rogue. My question is, do I have to complete the campaign before I can do? Yes, yes. So you like, if you haven't skipped the campaign yet, or if you haven't done the campaign yet, finish the campaign ASAP. Get your horse. Um, make sure that your renown is up. So you want to have your renown up too. Do this all straight away so you can start actually enjoying the season. But the thing is, you want to finish the campaign and your renown so you're done with this. So you don't actually ever have to bother with this again. Because, uh, yeah, that's that's like the thing. Why why would you why would you ever want to bother with that ever again? It's it's a one and done. And like, as soon as you have a one and done, like you know, just just be happy. Okay, this is this is like exactly how I imagined this to go. Because look, look at the look at the tiny tiny spaces this essentially has, right? And now now we're having now we're having the the penetrating shot with the two arcing of penetrating shots, and that that's that's exactly what I wanted. This is this is what I have been looking forward to. You know. That's what I wanted happening. Oh. <laughs> this is everything I wanted. Da -da 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 -da. You notice, like, uh, that, that's where, where I thought the Sirocco Cavern might be going very good for Rogue. Because, well, that's what it does. It was very good for Rogue. <laughs> okay, what's the further specializations on Rogue, though, now? What do, I, what, I, what do I even choose there, Chan? Combo points, inner side. I need combo points, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm playing combo points. Right? I don't farm dopamine tunnels. No, I find this more efficient than dopamine tunnels, but that's personal preference, essentially. Uh, because it's like two circles. Like, you go circle one and circle two. I just, I just truly enjoy the two circles. Also, the uh, kind of opponents you're facing here are just so simplistic to be. Um, and and the tunnel design just makes it so good for rogue. Like in, in 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 like I was I was planning to play like piercing shot, and as you see like the the whole the whole idea of the piercing shot with the with the arcing off bonus shots, it's just working so good. Uh, I kind of want to take this item, but the problem is I can't because that's all my all my skulls. Oh, brain. And if you have something cursed here, again, like, you know, it's it's all these tight, tight tunnel tunnel entrances that, that just makes it super easy for 
for the build to to truly get like the maximum out of what you're doing right i mean i'm, I'm just i'm just sitting here and i'm essentially just getting the most out of every single shot I know Domheim is a similar tunnel system, but Domheim is like these goats and, and there's like ranged goats and, and melee goats and everything. Whereas here, everything is like, everything is melee. So everything always pushes you. Everything is always like, it, it, like on, onto you. I just like this more than Domheim. I don't, I don't know why people like Domheim so much. This one, this one has just always held so much better to me. I feel like we're getting a very low amount of everything else. Oh, see, I can put the pens on, then I can put the gloves on. And that should work now. I feel like we're getting a very low amount of things. Can't be that boast just drop very few. Oh that, that multi multi shot with uh with artillery shrine is main. It just it just shoots that forward, huh? Interesting. done again well you can still check if there's actually an event here because some, sometimes you have the event going on right out this takes remain now with us i think the density of monsters is kind of the same what's the plan with the rogue a giga dot or a crit god crit god um, I don't, I don't enjoy the, the dot kind of builds, uh, for rogue. I wanted to have the one hit rogue going on. I've seen like some very intriguing one hit rogue concepts where you essentially just one hit things. And I think that's what I want to replicate. Like I, I kind of like it to have all the items. So yeah. And using your Necro builds. Thank you very much. Necro is definitely what we play for the Abba 12 Zier, but I really want to like, you know, try out the other concepts as well. So right now we're just leveling up a rogue because if I am I if I'm if I'm through the Abba 12 year with my necro maybe maybe it's about time that we try out some some of the other classes as well. I don't I don't know if you actually have enough sigil powder to do this because we all know how much sigil powder you need, which is kind of like crazy. If I understood correctly, technically to craft every single Abba 12 year glyph, um, you would need like 34,000 to craft them all. And I really hope that is not the case because if it's actually really expensive to farm uh, to craft all the glyphs, I mean, imagine imagine how annoying that is because you 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 just want to play the abattoir, right? But you might end up having to farm sigil powder to play the abattoir, and that's that's a fail because we have a six week event running, a six week event where you want to have access to the event, and you don't want to do other content to access the event. Correct. <laughs> well, you did, uh, thank you, you, you that you watched that video. I, I, I like my Blood Harvest video. I think I could have done it like there, there was there was a little bit of knowledge missing because I wasn't aware of the boss at the moment where we created that one. But I really I really liked the basic video. I mean, it was one of my more successful ones this season. I mean, making videos about seasonal mechanics is always a must because like how how are you gonna how are you gonna present these seasonal mechanics to like like the one the most important thing this season, right? The seasonal mechanic. And then creators kind of forget to make a video about the seasonal mechanic. How's that even a thing? You know? I, I love this. Like, that's that's my favorite thing about Rogue right now. Going into concealment and then and then coming out with a secure crit. Anyone else? 
That, that, that gives me, it gives me joy. You know? You go into concealment and you know, I'm going to come out and everything I spew with the opponent is going to crit. The butcher just whooped your ass. That's what he's there for. Let's be real. I mean, I understand now why the rogue can beat the butcher so easy. Uh, because of like when I, when I just see what, what rogue in general does. Rogues are just meanies. Makes me, makes me second, uh, ma makes me like be very happy about my Necker video today. Because today, today we made a video that's called Necker is a joke because the, the class concept of Necker is kind of like failed to a degree, right? Um, and now, now see, see, like playing Rogue and noticing how many abilities also the Rogue has to choose from. I'm like, yep. Uh, kind of reinforces the statement that the Rogue, uh, that the Necker concept it's just so flawed. Problem is, I, I don't expect like any any ground up rework of the Necro ever, because in order to really rework the Necro the way it, it should be reworked, uh, that that would require them to just to just be happening from the ground up again, and that won't happen. You know, that's not that's not that much work will never be put into the game again, right? They made their they made the class now, and now we have to deal with the shit they did there. And despite that, by the way, I'm still the number one necro enjoyer. I am not planning to actually touch a different class. <laughs> not planning to ever touch a different class as my main class. Let me see if this is cursed. Please be cursed. The moment you want things to be cursed. Not because you're crazy, just because it would be beneficial for you. Oh, uh, weathered, weathered stuff. Why, why would I drop a weathered stuff? Now that Necro doesn't have too few skills. The other classes have too many. That's not wrong. Okay, go. Just an hour, me spending 12 hours to 34 with campaign. That is, I mean, campaign does slow you down. Campaign does slow you considerably down because you're essentially like you're you're having to listen to conversations. You're not having the enemy density and all these kind of things, right? So yes, yes, you are slower when doing the campaign. I I think my first my first uh, time to 50 was what 20 hours. I mean, it was also the slower time there, right, to get to 50. Still, that like, if, if you compare that to now, it's obviously vastly like slower in every singular way. And we, we're what, one hour in, and we're only 22. Nah, honestly, I'm happy with the 22 right now. I mean, my, my goal would be like now after two hours to be almost ready for the capstone dungeon. That's what I would like to see. And Rogue definitely has the advantage of like, like, so Necro has the advantage of killing things faster at this level. And yes, Necro actually kills things faster. I know you don't want to believe it, but it is what it is, Chad. Uh, it's just because of, of the way how Blood Surge operates. I need time to do that. I mean, I, again, damaging everything in one room is just highly, highly nice. That, that, like, other classes can't deal. I'm not going back for that bone charm. Also was expecting, like, these trick shot thingies to go out, like, a bit more efficient. I feel, I feel like they're, they're, like, you know, the way how these trick shots thingies are going out just sometimes feel, like, a, a bit inefficient. Might just be me. What is Living Steel? Living Steel is from Chests of Living Steel in a Helltide area. The Chests of Living Steel are for 300 cinders. 
and you need them to summon Grigoire the Gavani Saint. If you don't know anything about the special bosses yet, I highly recommend to watch the video on how to summon the special bosses that we have on the channel because it kind of breaks it down to you that there is like these bosses existing. Uh, we we recent, I think we recently made a video about Helltide, so you can actually check that one out if you're interested. Well, we technically have videos on everything, so don't worry. We, we, get, we got you covered. Whatever is, whatever is your question. Uh, we get you covered in every regard. Okay, we hire our lucky hit chance. That's nice. We got you covered. I mean, on this channel, I literally, literally I, don't, I don't know which topic I haven't made a video about. Let's be fair. Right? Kind of like every, everything. Everything. I mean, even today about the Necker in general. Best shrine for just making experience, huh? Each crossbow, come on, be better than what I have. Oh, wow, vastly better. Yes. My favorite thing, finding items that are vastly better than what you have before and suddenly feeling like a god damage-wise, huh? Do, 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 do. Oh, hello? Hello? You appreciate the effort, but oh, you're all dead. I'm not ready yet. Okay, 23. What what do you think, guys? Can we can we in the next 40 minutes? 45 minutes make it to 35? More important, can we beat the capstone ninja at level 35? Well, that was, that was nice. I'm not ready yet. That, 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 like, that rain of arrows is, or that, that multi-shot is just so nice. It was called again? Rapid fire, sorry. Multi-shot, rain of arrows, rapid fire. I mean, bananas, apples, it's all the same anyways. Oh, another siege crossbow. Yes, that's what I love. That's what I like to see. It's weaker. Sadness. Cursed shrine. Why can you not be cursed? Is it that hard to be cursed once in a while? Okay, has the has the event has already flipped? Yep. Now we teleport up essentially. That's what I said. So we farm the dungeon until it's time to teleport up. Has to tank it for guessing. No, I just forgot to activate it again, Latex Engine. Thank you very much for telling me. We're running out every now and then. Is the torture chest of mysteries any good? It used to be good, and it used to be the main goal of things that you were actually aiming for. But that's a big used to be, because nowadays you're not even tr attempting that at all anymore, because it's kind of like a, a waste. Since you want to have the living steel chest. I mean, it, it used to be the number one thing you were farming for. And now, now since you have living steel chests, why would you be farming for that? It's kind of like a bit sad because they're, you know, they're... Oh, wait. Uh, penetrating shot. Yeah. They, like, you you essentially had, like, one goal. And that was get the tortured chest of mysteries. And, and now, now that goal... Now, now there's no reason for the tortured chest of mysteries to even exist. That's, that's the crazy point. So you went from this is the this is what you want to do to why do you even exist? I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Truly really haven't decided yet. But that that's essentially what happened. Why do you even exist? No, I, I don't want to... I don't want to interact with you. That was a very nice shot. That's what I was saying, like, enemy density, right? The, the enemy density of the Blood Harvest is just second to none at this point. 
Like, can can dungeons really be better? I mean, so the I guess the only advantage of the dungeons is that that there's a known amount of elites, whereas here you gotta be like lucky to meet some elites. Oh. Lucky or unlucky, however you put it. Oh, this this was a lucky hit because I can I can lucky hit multiple times with this. Yes, I didn't think about it, but due to the lucky hit hitting on on everything here, when I when I lucky hit, I I lucky hit everything, huh? Yeah, that was nice. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, so so we're not using auto attacks anymore to restore essence, huh? We're just restoring essence like this. Is that is that is that, is that how you're is that how you're essentially going on with the essence restoration then? And you're hitting that that you're hitting that button and then you just make a lucky hit essence like crazy. Won't complain. Ooh. You're tired of Durio runs? Yep. The problem with Durio runs is that they're just no fun. You know? Like, like so the problem is not Durio itself or even the Uber unique dog raids. It's just no fun to kill Durio. Durio is just like, I, I prefer, I prefer my grind to at least have something to it than just uh one second killing a boss but if if the actual grind leads to killing a boss that you um <clears throat> that you kill in one second without a single challenge it kind of it kind of becomes that you know when it kind of becomes a, a like you don't even have to be good to do that anymore you know that's why that's why i'm excited for the abattoir of zero because the better you are the better your build is the higher you can push in the abattoir um, and higher than other people potentially can and that that's what I find personally then interesting if I if I'm able to for example do higher levels of the Eba 12 zero because I'm just very good at playing my class and you suck at playing your class because you're a stinker and you're mouth you're a mouth breather you know so so who knows like may maybe you are and then and then like you know you can you can essentially like like achieve things others others can simply simply because you actually can play the game. Whereas obviously something like um, like like a monkey can kill can kill like freaking freaking uh, Lord Zero uh, Duriel right like like Duriel is not it's not like it's not a hard to kill challenge. I don't know. Did did I convey my thoughts there correctly? Does that make sense to you? I would prefer that. get rid of my things here so we can go back into my cavern oh that 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 lucky hit essence restoration thing is just insane how how is this so useful especially on these on these bigger packs here seriously How's this? How's this so useful? I mean, seriously, what the what the fuck, fuck? You, you, sh you shouldn't be able to like like to, to be running infinite essence this early in the game. That's, that's like not okay. Being able to restore this amount of essence early is just. Or, like, I mean, energy, sorry, not essence. <sighs> Fun. Okay, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, and we finally are getting this one, right? Damaging a close enemy with marksman cutthroat skill each grants attack speed bonus, correct? And then we're getting while well, both attacks speed bonus are active, you do increase damage equal to Ah, oh, okay, so damage versus crowd control is what you're looking for. You're still looking for an aspect you haven't found yet? Yeah, that's that's beautiful. 
I feel like every aspect should be available in the in the book. Like right? Agree, agree or disagree, Chad? But every single aspect should be available in the Codex of Powers. It should there's it shouldn't just be that only some aspects are available in the Codex of Powers. I mean make them all farmable. Make them all available through dungeons. Because it can't be that you're essentially like like some some people want to play my my necro, for example, and for the love of God, they can't find the um they just simply can't find an exposed flash and it can't be that you can simply not play a build because you're missing one single aspect i mean that that is just not okay you, you cannot be held back by that i mean being good in diablo right now is like it's like nothing correct like i mean th there's nothing to be good in i mean you can you can clear lilith uh with a right build with a one hit and that's about it you know <laughs> it's like it's like r right now it's more about just finding the right items and having the the right things going on but but i prefer if there's like an actual challenge still left and that's what abattoir zero is going to give me the the re real challenge i'm looking for nice Okay, 26. I did the event. I can go back to this again. Perfection. Oh, 25. We're, we're, we just made like, what, what was it, guys? That 15 minutes later, like when it was 15, I said, can we actually make the level? And I think we were level 22 there, right? 115. So we, we did make quite some levels here right now, really quickly in a row. It has me happy. We're not looking at any aspects right now because we're going to be looking at aspects later. Okay, another level. I got everything from this done. So now now I need to be looking here. First, this is using cooldown increases your dodge chance. Then we get you deal damage to healthy and injured enemies. That makes sense, right? Because that, that increases my standard first shot. And then we get like the follow-up shots, right? They should make glyphs easier to level. They do, uh, in case you missed the patch, guys. Tier 100 dungeons, every single dungeon more or less, is going to give twice the amount of XP they usually give. Uh, that, that is already in the making, just in case you missed it. Um, more XP is coming. So you're not crazy. Oh, by the way, let me put the aspect now on the amulet. So that, that is the change. We're still going to go for the um, trickshot aspect and just put it on the amulet. So you, you, get the, you get it this early, like you have to use it. Oh, that's a bow. That's better. The bow in again. One, two, three. Doesn't, doesn't hurt to upgrade the bow three times and then we're going back. I mean, I don't want to kill the well boss right now. The well boss is essentially a waste of time. Oh, you know what the you know what this build is actually really good at? I could just kill the PvP boss really quickly, right? What I what I usually tend to do is I tend to kill the PvP boss. I mean, sh this should work, correct? Wait, wait, wait. So in my in my push to level 35, because I want to do it as fast as possible, and we all know how much XP a tree of whispers gives, right? So I tend to just rush into the PvP area because in like in World Tier 1, no one actually kills the boss. Um, and then you just super quickly try to get him murdered. I mean, Rogue is at a level of powerful early on in comparison to Blood Surge, especially when I'm looking now at the single target damage, right? But with my energy restoration, with, with the like guaranteed critical strike chance and all that kind of stuff, you should be able to do it. And boss hasn't spawned right now, which is kind of like a bummer. I need more time. Seeds of hatred quickly clears this. Oh, there, there's the boss. No, no, no. There's the boss. Okay, before we can focus the boss, we gotta get rid of everything around. I'm 
you know this is this is like not not a not a hassle i mean it's gonna it's gonna take x to kill him but for that you also get like half half a freaking uh par paragon tree of whisper thingy Well, I actually would sure would do some more damage if I'm like pummeling that with. I must admit, this feels harsher, harsher than I expected it to. Like I expected him to kill it, to kill him a little bit faster. I don't doubt we'll get him killed. Still, I did do expect to kill him faster. You're literally dancing circles around a boss, huh? Still, it's still from a timing perspective worth it. Got missed the amount, <laughs> the amount of flurry you could do. It's just, it's just weird. Rapid fire, rapid fire. See that? That's one, that's one whole level just for killing him. We don't actually need his seats of hatred, Wait. Just, just in case he drops something useful, you never know, right? Purify this, and again, we, we almost have like the level done. With the poison imbuement, I, I don't have a poison imbuement. We're not we're not working with imbuements right now. And there's no world. I mean, it might be might be better for for the fighting there. Uh, yeah, we're not we're not working with that yet. And I'm still like my, my, I think my main problem is that we don't have the rapid fire leveled up. So I guess what I could do is just put some points into rapid fire at this point. Because I got five points in the penetrating shot, but I didn't put anything in rapid fire yet. Because why, why would we? But that's 27, and we're essentially just going to get 28 now as well. So almost 28. Very good thing about... They higher the points, by the way, this one gives. Well, that's probably the only reason I should do the well boss for another five points, right? And like, well boss just, just takes so long. I mean, sometimes you're stuck for 10 minutes at a well boss, and that's really not what you want to have happen, right? 10 minutes. Why are you playing a well tier 1 instead of well tier 2? Because the bonus XP of well tier 2 is a noob trap. It's not useful. Uh, what is your least favorite class? Uh, barbarian. By far. Not, not by, not by a little bit. By far. Like, I, I literally don't like barbarian. Like, again, at all. I have every class now, like with the rogue, I have every class going for, for 100. And then, then I'll just have the rogue, uh, then I'll have barbarian just never, I'll never have a 100 barbarian, essentially. Right now we're just doing higher item power in case you wonder, we're not doing anything else. By miles and kilometers, yes, by far and, and further. <laughs> Far and further. I can't do that here. Oh, let's go. Okay, 27. We have another 30 minutes left, guys, for aid levels. Hmm. Hmm. Questionable. Not impossible, just questionable. Uh, how long is the blood harvest going to be running here? That's another 36 minutes. Oh, we should probably go down here for the legion event. Uh, ignoring legion events in the beginning is like a little bit stupid because the enemy density is is like good enough from legion events, right? There's also the 15% bonus XP. I think I'm going to... I should do that. Like generally, it's the legion event plus the, the whisper, right? That makes it so much worth it. 
What do you not like, Barb? Uh, I don't like the aesthetic of the shouts, mostly. So, like, having shouts to do things and then going back into your core skills feels weird. Just, like, one shout. Bleh. Another shout. Bleh. I mean, no, no matter how cool your core skills are, you, you're just literally shouting. <laughs> Near white tier one, the 20% bonus XP is not worth the time you lose for getting the 20% bonus XP. Now you're going to say, but, but I am still plenty fast. I'm not slow. It might be, but you're still slower than as if with. Now there, there, there is a case to be made that vampiric powers maybe took care of that slowness, but even even then, it's just well tier two is mostly unnecessary. Oh, it's just a simple a a end of the day. Oh. Uh, um, we're talking about like like what an hour difference tops if even um so so it's not like it's it's like vastly slower it also depends on the power level of your class i think for the blood surge necro for example due to the one hit potential of everything just really doesn't make sense because you you will be you'll be natively slower because you just got to spend like two hits instead of one hits and and that will just make you slower zooming through the dungeon and any hordes of monsters and and you know oh. this is going good i like i like this i like this xp Hmm. Okay, what, 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 which which lucky hit does this increase again? That was skills guaranteed break consuming gets destroying. Every hundred energy you spend grants. Ah, yeah, every hundred energy we spend grants this lucky hit increase. That that's what it was. So we essentially blast away, and then we get more lucky hit for blasting away. We spend hundred energy, and then with the lucky hit increase, we would get more. So would it? Does that mean it would be beneficial to have more and more maximum energy as a rogue anyways? I mean, if, if blasting out 100 energy gives you higher lucky hit chance, and then lucky hit chance has a chance to restore energy, wouldn't that mean if I had at least 150 energy that that's just vastly beneficial? Die! Is the Legion event really worth it? I mean, it's still the 15% bonus XP than people standing close to you. So that that all together is, is kind of like speaking for him. Seeing that's 28 already. Go for the flurry. Mm -hmm. yeah, please come with me here and then come up here the lightning ball sword did it better I mean these 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 statues are harsh to clear Leveling is faster on alts because you don't really have to care about resources or money. I mean, you don't really have to care about resources or money on your main character too. I mean, what what I take is always just one aspect. So for for every for every of my character, I try to identify the key aspect that makes leveling easier. For the rogue here, it is actually the trick shot because I can I can do just more damage with that, right? I mean that, that that's a that's a simple one that that then I can with the, with the trick shot I'm essentially able to be more efficient, right? 
Especially when you're when you're going through a certain set of dungeons that that helps. Uh, for the necro, for example, it used to be the. Uh, come on, saying so for, for necro, I used to take the blood surge aspect because that that is the bonus surge and that makes you vastly stronger. Like not like a little bit, like just vastly stronger. So does that mean you can generally go for a high lucky hit chance on Rogue? Hmm, I'm learning things. Anything else to the alternative of Exposed Flash? I mean, first, I didn't see your question anyways, Uncle. The alternative to Exposed Flash is... Umbral, or the aspect that enhances Essence Regeneration after hitting a Bone Crit. Uh, I never know how that one is called because I've never used it because I have exposed flash. But that, that one would be the alternative. I know. Okay, fantastic. Will you just clear this? Well, are we actually able to clear to do this, do this Legion event? Because sometimes, sometimes you don't actually get Legion events done, quotation mark. Because you you might just be too slow at clearing them, it, it's really funny because like you don't you don't see this on World Tier Three or even World Tier Four ever, right? That that there's a world where you might not get a Legion event done. Nah, that, that simply doesn't happen. That, that you don't even entertain the thought, right? But in, in in World Tier in World Tier One, there there's a world. Come on, boys, we got this. Oh yeah, nice, nice, nice. Actually got it done. Do you, do you think you'd ever return to New World? So the thing about New World is that New World is a fantastic watching game. Right? Uh, a fantastic playing game. But honestly, watching is not really that interesting in New World. I mean, it, it, like, don't, don't get me wrong, I love New World. I, I think New World is a fantastic game and I would like to play 24-7. But uh, realistically, also the potential for making videos in New World is relatively low. And that's that's my thing, right? I'm, I mean, I'm, I make a living right now with with live streaming, yes, but also with putting out good quality YouTube content. But if a game doesn't allow me to make daily or even bi daily or even weekly interesting YouTube content, ton, content, um, yeah, I mean, it's the struggle with MMOs in general because MMOs they change, right? But they don't change that much. They change every like every season to a degree. But right now, with all the changes that have come to this season, for example, I, I could so far make videos for two months already. GTA 6, you're going to stream? I am not a GTA fan. I have not played GTA since GTA 2 back in the days. So pers personally, I have zero hype for GTA. And I've also never understood the GTA hype, if I'm honest with you. So it's never it's never been a game that has made sense to me why why people are enjoying it so much what what makes people enjoy gta so much what what is it that that people find in this game that, that that's something that i've never understood that has always been lacking to me so i know for a lot of people it's like it's like childhood nostalgia kind of thingies and whatsoever but yeah I'm, i've i've literally personally never never gotten behind the the appeal of gta Sometimes you don't understand things, Chan. It's, it's okay, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I like, like I see that that GTA 6 announcement was the most successful gaming tweet ever. You know, top five most successful gaming tweets, and I just, I just, I was sitting on the sidelines, and I was like, I don't, I don't understand why. I don't, I don't know why, why you're all so excited. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. Oh god, are we, are we not going to get it done, Chan? That was a nice little spam. <laughs> Two days to Warzone? Now nah, two days to Abattoir Vizier. <laughs> I mean, Warzone? 
Have you heard of the Abattoir of Zir, sir? What, what is this war zone you're talking about? Whew. Abattoir of Zir dropping, brother. Okay, we're getting a new crossbow. Cool. We're getting a new sword. We're getting a new helmet. We're not getting a new chest because that one is bad. We're not getting a new trinket. We're getting a new pair of pants. We're getting a new pair of gloves. Okay, oh, uh, that event is still running for another 25 minutes. So back to my Sirocco Caverns. Constant early level in this game. I mean, you can power level yourself, obviously, Mopard. But I I always treat the early levels as understanding your class. Sure, you can also understand your class later on, but we have seen one thing in MMOs, for example. Whenever someone buys an endgame level character, they they kind of miss an intrinsic understanding of the class, of going through the struggles of kind of like deeply understanding why some skills help as much as they help and why why some points in the board are used in other shenanigans. And that's why I always feel like Really leveling a class, at least the first 50 level, teaches you a lot about the class itself and how things work. Um, did I just reset? I don't remember. And that, that's often what, what people are lacking quite, quite severely, to be honest. The laziness regarding this AOZ zone is peak blizzard behavior. I mean, Vertigo, yes. AOZ is nothing like super crazy special, but it's at least something we're getting. I mean, you can you can you can choose to be negative about it, and you can choose to still enjoy the event. I think, right? I mean, yes, yes, it's 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 Nightmare Dungeon Plus essentially. I'm not ready yet. But then again, also not because the the bosses being, for example, the Bloodseekers instead of actual bosses is quite a nice twist that I did not expect myself. So that's something I do actually really like. Because that makes it even more intriguing for me. Since with my builds that I'm playing, that is going to empower my builds. In case you missed it, the Abattoir of Zir, the boss that is in the Abattoir of Zir, guys, is not your traditional dungeon boss. It is essentially a... Uh, it's three Bloodseekers with the different... Um, the different affixes. So that's going to be really interesting to find depending on, on how your build looks like. But for me, for example, as the Blood Necro, this is actually a, an incredible good piece of news because it's going to make me only stronger since for me, killing one boss was harder than killing multiple bosses. So something tells me the challenging part is over once you get the new glyph. That, that's also something I'm thinking. Like if you if you get the new glyph and if you get it high enough, might might the challenging part be over? Then again, I mean, as, like you could still like no one forces you to use the new glyph, right? You could just see how far can you push it without the glyph. So I think it's it's a bit like making your own fun. Right? Like no one no one is forcing you to use. To use the new glyph essentially. Oh, heavy crossbow. I have to say, I, I like the heavy crossbow more than actual bows. So, whenever I get a heavy crossbow, I'm a happy little potato. I'm going to uh, limit myself with it. With it. Yes, exactly. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm going to play the new glyph like straight up from the beginning because I want to push as far as I can with the new glyph. But then I also want to test how far, like after a few days, how far can you push without? Because again, my, 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 personal, my personal challenge comes after your challenge, right guys? Because who of you is really going to say, no, I'm not going to use the new glyph. No one, right? Everyone is going to use the new glyph. P people are not going to limit themselves by nature. At least not the, this, the casual people. And that's like the thing, you know, for, for my own game fun, I might say, sure, I, I am not going to use the new glyph for, for a bit to just see how far I can push in. 
but that is nothing that the average player is essentially interested in. The average the average player wants to get the new glyph and just become omnipotent essentially. You know? Of just being able to then then one hit Uber Lilith with whatever. Oh, and that's, that's like the thing that's that's what that's what what goes first like making making sure the the casual player the people i actually make my videos for are satisfied and then i can look for my personal satisfaction by by introducing some weird ass challenges right by by telling by telling myself uh you know how, how far can i push it just without But most people are obviously going to use it straight away. Arbalist. More damage. I feel like a slower attacking weapon is better for... For... Um, for pe penetrating Sean. We know what the new glyph is. The new glyph is called Tears of Blood. And yes, we, we know everything about it, to be honest. Like, it, it increases your damage multiplicative and it boosts uh, some notes around it multiplicative. And on Necro, you get to, for example, look out that you might potentially be wanting to take a double int node because int is obviously your scalar. And that's an interesting fact about Necro when you get like another 400% bonus like to the int nodes that you get so much intelligence bonus that it might even be worth it to take up the wither node again because then you take the wither node and with a like a very high bonus on with a very high bonus on in plus the wither node you might be scaling your damage like beyond belief right and out we go again okay we're almost 30 Jesus, we almost did it, Chad. Bevis, thank you for the two months of support. Gerber, thank you for the brand new Prime subscription, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to check if your Prime Gaming sub is available and spend it somewhere on Twitch. Also, Chad, on YouTube, don't forget to like the stream. It pushes the algorithm and it helps a lot. Do appreciate it. the yellow hell tide what's worse on the yellow hell tide event <laughs> what's my poison tb pen shot rogues make easy work of two 100s yes Ro rogue in generally is is really good for for end game but that that's not a surprise right i mean rogue was was always good end game wise even before vampiric powers and now with vampiric powers it's even better Main vampiric power we're making still sure to have is Humomancy, and as long as Humomancy is active, that's a happy little potato pony. still decide when it's better to use like rain uh rapid fire and when i want to use the other stuff Woo. give me those levels yeah i want it to be like around 35 after two hours but honestly i'm i'm feeling plenty good about my about my progress right now Feels like we have been going very, very fast. Yep. the bow no we get better than that we have it 
We return the rogue. Now, nah, honestly, I'm I'm enjoying the rogue, especially since there is this lucky hit thingy to regain um essence. Again, for every class, I always look like I always look for the trick to regain essence. Simple, right? Um, I always look for that that one thingy where you can turn things infinite. And for rogues right now, I mean, if I if I hire my lucky hit chance, then I'm essentially able to endlessly endlessly cast without ever running out, and I I like that. I mean, that's my that's my one goal to really to really just do this with every class. I'm not ready yet. I, uh, apart from barbarian, because I really don't like barbarian. Barbarian doesn't get a chance anymore. I'm sorry. There's there's a lot of baseless barbarian hate in this channel, Chan. I'm sorry for all my for my fellow barbarian enjoyers that I am just absolutely mean to your class. I do not intend to. I do not mean to. Oh, and that, that, that was that was some some nice little damage there. Oh. You can you can all stay in there, you little troglodytes. You're only interested in pushing further. And let me let me uh, get back to. I think that just that just moved. Did that just move? It must have just moved. Just moved. Well, Barbara's the best. Uh, was it hotel or upheaval? I don't actually know. Uh, what's the aspect of the splitting error called? Trick shot. Trick shot. And you can do it very easy. There is a dungeon in Havazar um, that you have to do, and then you have it unlocked already. It's a Codex of Powers thingy. We all love we we all love our Codex of Powers thingies, right? Just, just get it done straight away. Ready, steady, mom spaghetti. Uh, hitting vulnerable chance to... Oh, yeah. Actually, that one needs to be kept, right? Might as well just rip them both out quickly. Once in a while. What is up, Tubo, in the game right now? Yes. It also makes no sense to look like for, for top builds in that regard because we all know that they're just one season good and then they're just ready to be dumped completely. That's why I like to, to make builds that are not only good because of like something that will definitely be nerfed. I mean, we all know that every single Necro build is just good and actually nothing nothing about Necro will be nerfed anytime soon, right? Ne Necro is just meant to exactly stay the way it is right now, which is so good. Like nothing, nothing is gonna happen to it. Like, right? Ne Necker is, Necker is just perfect. I mean, apart from the, like the Necro class being a joke, right? But Necro itself is just, just perfect. That's your point. Necro is more success. exactly. This is what I'm trying to convey when I say Necro is a joke, still design-wise. That there's a lot of flaws, but despite that, we know that every single Necro that is working right now will also work in season three and potentially even better. Because not no no single necro relies on a on a bug, you know. Right now, they they all just simply work for working. And also, vampiric powers just just marginally empower them, so it's not like we rely on vampiric powers as heavily. Not for every build, because there are some builds that truly do drink deep from the vampiric power well. Right. There's the loot goblin. Probably kill that loot goblin, huh? Oh, really?
You know, me, me, me just, me just randomly tagging behind a loot goblin as a necro, and and as a rogue, you're just like, you shall not, you shall not run away, you little shit. But as the necro, it's just like, please, please don't run away. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'll, I'll get you. Don't, don't worry. I'm right behind you. A ball of lightning and Hoda bugged. Uh, I think upheaval is overscaled and will probably be nerfed. Uh, the, the, and, and, uh, Hammer of the Ancients again, as they were before. Uh, the same goes for Lightning Ball Sword is bugged that there is some, some interaction with casting raid right now and staying up of the orbs and things like that. So I don't know what exactly was, uh, not the way how it's intended to be or overtuned, but they're, they're not, they're not bugged. They're just, uh, overtuned to a point where, uh, they, they'll get, they'll get tweaked and twerked. But they will never get tweaked and twerked during the existing season because they they promised us to essentially keep the power level of the season always consistent to to never change the power level of the season and this is what i think it should be like the the power um, the power level of a season should be untouched because because why would you alter the actual power level during a season makes makes no sense right because some some people they 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 get every piece together they get every single thing i mean maybe, maybe with the Mm, maybe with the leaderboards you should have an eye on it but i don't think even with the leaderboards you have to have an eye on it because if you want to if you then want to be number one in the leaderboards and something is overtuned or bugged uh then you'll just have to play the overtuned and bugged chin you know i guess that that's where we're at right now if you think about it okay this is gonna reset in nine minutes that's good It was give us exactly enough time to kill the PvP boss on the other on the other PvP area. If I wanted to. Yeah, I will run to the toilet because I'm almost PPing in my pants, and I'll be right back. Just such a long ride to the PvP area. Before you're there. Okay, two hours, three minutes, Chan. Level 30. Do we feel fast or not? I think we, we're doing good. Huh? 
Dragon Dogma 2. Dragon Dogma 2 will be played on the channel as well, Gibran. I mean, you can generally expect that if there's big AAA game title releases, th that they'll always be played on the channel. Especially something like Dragon's Dogma, which has big guide potential. Hey, dudes. What's lost? Time to do that. Was? Nein, hab ich nicht. Du machst die Tür nicht richtig auf. Du musst den Griff runterdrücken und aufdrücken, Schatz. Da, drücken. Richtig. Nein. Mäuschen. Was ist denn bei euch los oben? Hm? Hallo? Nicht an meinem Tisch wackeln. Nicht an dem Tisch wackeln. Ah. ah. Wolltest du gerade meinen Tisch umschmeißen? I need more time. Uh, when are you trying out Avatar? Is it already released? Not yet. Nee, der ist ganz groß, den kann man nicht einfach umschmeißen, siehst du? Ich muss erstmal den großen umschmeißen. Dann. Der hat da oben diese rote Leisten, siehst du die? Das sind seine Leben. Die haben so kleine rote Leisten, das sind deren Leben. Siehst du, bumm, fertig. Jetzt müssen wir den... Machen wir die überhaupt erlaubt, runterzugehen? Ich bin runtergegangen. Ja. So, wir müssen noch ein bisschen den. Ja, siehst du da oben die Leben? Wir müssen auf Null sein. Wo sind die gerade? Auf Hälfte? Ungefähr. Mhm. Ich freue mich. Ich mache mein Bestes. Die Beine. <lacht> Hast du recht? So, we, we have to push them in the, in the abyss, then she's not coming up. Man kann leider keinen runterschubsen, Mäuschen. Ja, ich weiß, du bist hier, ne? <lacht> Mach ich. Aber da sind zwei doofe Westen. What kind of build are we using? Uh, penetrating shot, one hit, one hit crit. So it's gonna be like Giga Overload crit. Fast up. Oh, that was. That's what I got to That's what I got to see. Na, na, Mäuschen, hast du dich auch untergeschlichen? Butter, was ist hier los? Nee, nee, die wollen mich belagern. Die wollen nicht Hallo sagen. Ich brauche eine Intervention. Du kannst... Darfst du. Oh, so. so. Jetzt drückst du hier auf den Knopf 2. Noch nicht drauf drücken. Jetzt warten, bis jemand kommt. So, jetzt. Boom. Und nochmal. Boom. Und nochmal. Oh, okay. Na, Arie? Na, bei, bei dem Mädchen auf meinen Schuss dann explodiert der Stuhl. Ah ja, da kannst du dran drehen. Hm? Da kann, darfst du dran drehen. Well, sorry, well, we'll bring them up in a second chant. So, Mädels. Aber muss noch ein bisschen arbeiten. 
Aber wenn ich... Nein. Nein, aber... I'm back. Oh, you can see there. That was the, the ch children-esque interruption. Oh, they, they, they would stay here just all the time. Like, uh, and, and it, it's not like, I don't mind if they're here, but it's just, it's just like, uh, stri streaming is already exhausting, you know, like, like for the mind. And if I, if I interact with you guys and interact with my children, it's just, it's just burning. It's just burning out my brain. So as simple as it is, to be honest, it's just it's just really like like for for mind a uh, very uh, very very lot like to handle sometimes. I know it's hard to understand when you're not content creating yourself. Like how how can how can streaming be hard? You know, like it's just playing computer games. <laughs> oh. But yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a it's a more than that. Okay, that's five seconds. We're gonna wait those five seconds and then we'll teleport somewhere. We get my bow upgraded. One, two, three. I mean bow bow's the main thing to actually have upgraded, right? The upgrading your weapons just feels like 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 not needed in comparison. Uh why is the Ocultus not available after getting encoded? Well well you have to get on like you have to go to Kivachat. You have to go to the Kivachat occultist and then talk to him. Like the the normal occultist won't do. It's always gonna be the Kivachat one. It's it's plenty weird why it's gonna be the Kivachat one, but it's just what it is. You know. But yeah, the 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 normal one is just like he's a common rabble. Do anything for me. Okay, what do I have to do? Uh harvest modes. Oh wow, this is this is one of the this is one of the amazing hell tides. It's the it's the double it's the double uh, it's the double blood harvest. Uh the the amazing harvest. We get we get the we get the whispers and then then the, the other set of whispers already. That is that's good. I love it. But whisper one is live. Get two already freed. We're gonna save you, Mr. Adventurer Man. Look at me, Chad. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm the savior. Please stop fighting, sir. We're trying to get you out alive, and you just keep fighting. This is not how it works. Right? Just blocked until level 25? Yeah, like a Kivacha one. And even like if, if it's blocked until 25, you just have to go into a normal dungeon and kill something into uh, in, in a normal dungeon. Um, uh, you have to uh, you have to go for a dungeon where you don't have an aspect unlocked yet, which is which is like so stupid. Why? Why do you have to do this with every character again? It, it's like it makes no sense to hard lock this for, for new characters. But right? there's, there's some of the decisions that obviously don't don't make absolutely no sense from from Blizzard then, right? Like why 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 lock it for a second character when it's like literally like your second character, right? God, that bonus lucky hit chance is just amazing. Nothing less of just absolutely amaze balls. Time to do that. And we have to kill spiders here. That is, that's a, that's a lot of vo moats here and, and shenanigans, so, but let's farm some more, some more spider runies. And we have to cull grassland spiders for the, for the event thingy. This is why I love double whisper hell tides, uh, double whisper blood harvest. Sorry, chat for calling them hell tides over and over again. Double whisper blood harvest is, is love. Nothing goes over that. By the way, always when you get one whisper done, you actually have to pause for a second 
and keep keep lookout if if one of these malignant monsters is spawning i mean not in world tier one right but as soon as you get world tier three i see people doing doing that mistake they essentially just way too fast back away from things but it's just literally like you, this is this is how you're this is how you're getting like your your all your hearts and everything you know you don't back too fast away from this Okay, we have to when still and in the modes kill the bloodseekers save the villagers okay now i don't i don't want to deal with injured adventurers on the ground they're so annoying <laughs> we don't we don't deal with injured adventurers on the ground chat they're they're just beyond annoying i don't want that Oh no, I uh, gotta get a stop. There's a revenant we wanna kill. Done, done, and done. Oh, uncommon crossbow. Mm, nope. Oh, blood seekers, yes. That's nice. Look, look at you. You're, you're, you're a rogue too. You think you get a chance? You're cute. Oh no, really? I just, I just shot that in there. I did, huh, Chan? Oh, uh, yeah, better. Even if it's only marginally better, right? It needs to be taken. More, more, more bats. And in the modes, it's not here. It's always on the other end. I'm not ready yet. Mm -hmm. Educating the next gamer generation. I mean, my daughters are always allowed to game with me as long as it's nothing too graphically brutal. And let's let's be fair, Diablo looks good, but but it still looks it doesn't look realistic good. You know what I mean? Where, where if I was playing Resident Evil, like I, I told my wife, like, as I as I was then playing the Resident Evil 4 remake, I was like, today the children are not allowed downstairs, you know, because I don't want them walking in and having like a zombie eat off my face, and they're they're just like, oh dad, what is happening there? Well, the zombie is just eating off my face. It looks kind of graphically pleasing. <laughs> so some things they do not have to see, right? I mean, not not like me watching Starship Troopers with ten years old when the brain bug is is like like sucking out the brain of the dude, which is which is very disturbing for for ten year old potentially. Um, so yeah, that's that. Who would not want to see like a gigantic brain bug eat the eat the eat the brain out of out of a person like time to do that. I'm not ready yet. But yeah you know like we we were raised different back in the days our parents didn't even think about the implications of of watching some really not not so children friendly stuff even though my parents weren't stupid, but but still they they kind of they, they weren't stupid, but they didn't think about that kind of thing. To be honest, which always makes me wonder, you know, like like it's, it seems such a such a common sense thingy. And I guess, I guess it's not. <laughs> guess guess it's not. Seems like one of these. Things where where you would be like you know makes sense to not have your child watch something very scary. Maybe maybe, maybe it's not common sense. Maybe I'm the stupid one. Get the brain bug. There's Dina Maya naked. No, the only thing I remember from that is the brain bug. My mom did, but I was the only one able to operate the video recorder. Yeah, I mean, same same for internet and me. You know, I was the one in the family that understood the internet and how the modem works and everything. So, so, yay.
Our brothers knew how to skateboard. <laughs> Congratulations, brothers. <laughs> Losers. I knew how the power of the internet. Okay, oh, oh yeah, we're not done yet. There is, oh, there's a dungeon to do and there's villagers to save. Interesting. Not, not only dungeons to do, villagers to save the other ones again. Uh, Three-year-olds watched sheep cow EDC getting butchered back in the days. <sighs> I mean, yeah, kind of graphic, you know? I mean, there's nothing wrong with, with sheep and cow getting butchered, but generally watching watching too much death of the child, I don't, I don't know how, how good that is, you know? I mean, if you even comprehend it as a child correctly, to be honest. I think more more problematic is the sounds that the animals might make, depending on depending on how you know, depending on what what you're hearing, what you're comprehending. I've never been available for an animal slaughter yet. I just eat the animals. I don't I don't watch the slaughter. Yes, I'm I'm a horrible person. I'm a monster chat. I'm trying to kill with three years. Well, about six years. I mean, there's I think there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, my children, my children at this point know, know like that, what, what hunters do, you know, they understand death because granny died and a dog died. So they, they understand these concepts very well. If I wanted themselves to hunt at this age, I don't know, but I, I reserve any judgment for that because I don't know what implications learning hunting and killing yourself has this early. I mean, end of the day, you would teach your children fishing too, I guess. But but then again, fishing is more like pu putting the things out of the pond and then throwing them back in, you know? Not sure how different that would be from a, from a hunting killing feeling, you know? You're bored of Soraka? No, no, no. We, we are just doing the... Um, we're just doing the whispers when it's available no one no one can tell me that that is not absolutely beneficial to do the whispers when they're available it seems like more stupid to not do the whispers when they're available which is my thought you know because the whispers are just so damn good it rather seems like you you if you if you decide to like forego any whispers you're you're the idiot because not not only are you killing a lot of enemies, you're also getting like like a bunch of free XP. And I mean, every every whisper is also bound with enemy kills. That that's like the thing, right? So the, 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 it's not like you're not doing anything while you're getting these whispers because you're you're doing something. So, I kind of feel like it would be stupid to not do that, but it's just me and my thoughts. At the end of the day, it's all about efficient leveling, right? And we're currently at level 30. Oh, wow, we're almost 35. I didn't, I completely missed this. Oh, we're actually making it before 230. That's nice. Man, I, I wanted to make it before 2.30, but I actually didn't see that it would happen. So that, that has me happy here right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're actually making it before 2.30. Oh, who would have guessed? So that's going to be then the level 35. And I'm not sure if I can do the, the capstone dungeon just like that now. I mean, I feel like we have a nice power level. Oh, great. He's, he's already un unbeatable. And then, then you're getting him to summon like his, his weird shit there.
Oh, how, how is the event done when the dude is still alive? <laughs> Chad, explain this. How is the event still going on if, if the dude is still alive? I'm confusion. Uh, FP Cat, thank you for the second month of support. Happy you choose to come back, bringing your prime gaming sub to the table. Ladies and gentlemen, give me some hearts in the chat for FP Cat. Appreciate it. Good morning. Question on one of your other builds. The Infinite Essence Blood Surge. What would you use to shield slot instead of Littlest Wall? Well, I mean, the, the Littlest Wall is kind of mandatory, uh, but un unless you have it, you can use any shield, to be honest, until you have the Littlest Wall, for example. So th that is an option, to be honest. So to kind of like use anything un until you have it, and then when you have it to essentially use it. And that's down. So that, that that's just as an example. But I've honestly never come to the situation where I have to do that. So I don't have like, you know, it's, it's literally use whatever you feel like, you know, even, even use a two handed weapon until you have that. Uh, but be, be sure that you're just going to be more squishy, easier to kill, you know, g generally, generally less, less sturdy. And it's the, it's the one sturdiness aspect. The one thing that makes you just who you are, you know, in terms of staying power. That, that is an issue if you don't have that. Not just not just a tiny one. And we are level 35, Chad. Well, what do you say? Say we're trying the capstone dungeon or not? N Necker is able to do the capstone dungeon at this level. I, I don't know mostly from like just my my overall damage output if I'm going to be able to. I think with my druid, I did it on what? Level 40? Hmm. Could I could put you over shield. Yeah, see, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can you can put disobedience on it and play Godslayer crown until then. Because usually you would have disobedience on, on your chest, but then you can actually have disobedience on the shield. So it would be possible to do something with disobedience, for example. But again, never been in the position where I had to. So this is all like a very theoretical advice where I'm not sure this is safe and sound. Right? Wait till 40. Are you sure? You might want an abumen for the capstone if you go at 35. I don't, I don't, I don't know how abumens work. I, I don't know what abumens do, sir. Um, her chest, her helmet, her bow, her glove. What will it be? It's the first night. Not bad. Well, let's let's see how this one is going, Ryan. Godslayer Hamlet is good. Godslayer Hamlet can be good, Corrado. It's not a waste. Like, it really depends. Yeah, let's just see how this is going, you know? We're going to potion here. Come on, Rogue. Level 35. This is going to be possible. Well, maybe maybe we have to upgrade our armor even more. Marksman skill damage. Distant enemies. When we only have 662 life. That's kind of weak. So we'll, we'll see if we have to actually upgrade our armor. Cathedral of Light, Chan. What do you think? You want me to carry you through the capstone? No, I don't. Thank you very much for the offer. It, this is all like, this is for me to check how things are working out, but also to provide a guide for people. Because if, if I can't do it alone, then I can't recommend this for other people to do as well. So my my streams are also meant to, to function as a baseline. Oh, wow. That is really harsh. As a baseline guide. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do it at that level. Simple. If I, if I die this quick, that is not what I want to do. That's not what makes sense in any capacity. So we'll wait for level 40. 
<laughs> Benelli, thank you very much for the Prime subscription. Benelli, great to see you there. Welcome to the Knights of the Round Stable. But if I was able now to go longer through without dying, but I essentially die like from the first opponent I meet getting a hit there, that is not something you want to do then. So I guess like as you say, level level 40 might probably makes more sense to to just get an overall sturdiness increase. I mean, we'll just do the last event in here now. I don't mind us here, but Twisting Blade, Shadow Mew, you see? I am not nor, not Twisting Blade nor Shadow Mew, man. But even even if I was, so that's not the point. Even if I was, I think you still didn't feel like it was the easiest thing in the world, right? There, There's like sweet spots with just every class that make it feel easy. For example, for Necro 35, it's just relatively easy with the, with the build I'm going for. Um, I think like no matter what kind of equipment or what kind of skill I go for, Rogue just has a certain squishiness to it that that requires you to just take like one two extra levels to to overcome that from a from a baseline stat pattern already, right? Ronnie, thank you very much for your support. Ronnie, happy to see you there as a member to the Knights of the Round Stable. That's us, ladies and gentlemen. Also, not not only Twitch subs, ladies and gentlemen. Also, YouTube members, YouTube members. Oh, uh, we could do that. Seaside Descend quickly. I mean, like, at end of the day, uh, pushing Sirocco Cavern is nice and so on. Uh, but also doing a... Finishing a Whisper Dungeon is quite nice. And then we go back to Sirocco Caverns, I guess. For the time being. Let's see, how was the Seaside thingy? You're amazing. No, you're amazing. Oh, you hemorrhage over bone splinters in your bone build. It was actually explained in the video, Corrado. Uh, but it's just that uh, hemorrhage is just better from a from a range perspective and everything, and uh, that you can shoot it over walls and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, we're anyways not using our main ability ever. Just a very very rare use case scenario when we ever get to use the ability actually. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Blaster Wafer Schrein. Last of April. Mm -hmm. oh, poor guy. <laughs> Q-Soul, thank you for the 10 months also there. Q-Soul, thank you for the double sub chat. Yes, there are crazy people that are subscribed on, on YouTube and on Twitch. Back to back. Okay, that, that's that's just some that's some that's some nice uh, shooting through and hitting everyone at the same time. That's uh, that that was that is that is the thing, you know. Yeah, now you should all all gather up. For Timmy. What are you guys doing here? You shouldn't. You shouldn't be here. 
Slay of av av avaricious captains. I, I asked that before, but what what did avaricious mean again? <laughs> it's what it's one of these words you just don't stumble up in every day, right? With your with your English. Last time I heard the words avaricious captains being used was exactly never. Thank you. Uh, when my when my wife asked me when's when you know what, what, how we're are the avaricious captains doing? Why does Blood Surge feel so much better with Rogue? Than, than Rogue at this point. It's just that that overpower damage is just it's just too powerful. Honestly, it, it's really like what I see here right now is that that Rogue is actually not doing few damage. Rogue is doing good damage, but overpower damage is just so silly powerful. Like all side quests and so on. No, the side quests will never be completed forever. Um, the side quests will always be open again. But if you complete the whole the whole renown grind and that kind of stuff, that that will never return. So the renown grind thingy is a one and done, or is finally a one and done, because it didn't used to be that. It didn't used to be a one and done, but it is nowadays. Yes, one, one time you're done with the... Now I'm just trying to get this dungeon done for the uh, thingy. This also, by the way, shows me how easy the Sirocco Caverns are. Because these enemies are all just uh, more difficult to kill due to their higher total life and so on. Right? And that, that's why we're farming Sirocco Caverns. Because in Sirocco Caverns, everything is just literally a one-hit. There's just no hassle because everything is just a one-hit. I mean, the, these, like, they lose half HP when I, when I shoot them. Which is not really good, to be honest, because half HP is like, you know, you have plenty left then. If, that, if that's your kind of thing there. Ah, uh, versus mean hop here. See, there, there it made sense again. But still. Avaricious seems like such an, such an old world to say something like instead of greedy. Why don't you say greedy? Say avaricious? Is avaricious the fantasy greedy? <laughs> no? Avaricious the, the fantasy speech greedy? Fantastic, done. Ah, vampire. I need time to do that. Oh, wow. Hey, sir. We're not playing the game where you do more damage as a boat trooper than I do. Oh, really? We're not playing that game where I just missed. Another one, two, three, wait. Oh, that one was done. Mm, and then now back to the Sirocco Caverns, as I said. 50 each trade chat. What happened? What are people hoping for? Which necro build do you recommend for leveling? Uh, the necro build for leveling is straight up simply 
um the the blood surge necro it's just, it's just too good Dude, there's like nope there's just no question blood surge necro is s tier and the reason why blood surge is so good is because overpower scales crazy i mean overpower scales with your life and your fortify and life and fortify is so easy to come by but it scales way higher than anything else because scaling up your critical strike damage in the beginning is really hard but getting more life, you just subsequently get more life for existing. You just subsequently get more life by, by just being there. And whenever you pick up an item with total max life, that means automatically more damage. So you don't even have to find better weapons. You just periodically, periodically, <laughs> periodically do more damage, right? Okay, see, like here, everything still dies as it used to die before. I mean, not not as much as in in the in the, in the first six levels though, but but still, that's enough. I'm not ready yet. Hmm. Yeah, I just like my Sirocco caverns. Come on, come on, spam, 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 spam. I'm not ready yet. I more time. Come with me, Spider Man. anywhere a meter for the essence spend on um on the bonus lucky hit chance because i get five percent bonus lucky hit chance after x right so uh, what i'm wondering is is there any any like essence spend thingy is there any meter that explains this to me Come on now. Uh -huh. You thought you had me locked in. You didn't. Yes, more. More. Give me more spiders, more everything. More elites. Everything on the same everything on the same page, right? Hmm. Okay, on we go. That crossbow is only seven worse. Slightly better. Momency is still active. That's the only thing we're looking for. I'm not ready yet. What that level build? Uh, this is a, a penetrating shot, rapid fire, one hit build that is meant to later overwhelm everyone with the T Bolt's will interaction that is slightly bugged. But it's okay that it's bugged because. This season is the season of OP things staying OP. And we're essentially using penetrating shot in the Sirocco caverns to, you know, you use the, the tiny, the tiny rooms here to truly be mean to our opponents. Because that's the beautiful thing, right? Uh, due to everything being tiny, tiny, like rather clutched here. Uh, we can we can just with a few of our shots like really hurt everyone around us Which is kind of nice to be honest Did 
you stop resummoning things? Appreciate it. Okay, one more. And then and then we're 37 soon. Give me that lucky hit. Give me that lucky hit bonus cast. Yes, curse as well. That's what we're looking forward to, Chan. Curse me, father. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I might have asked for a little bit too much there. I'm gonna look out because I have the feeling that the the well the well heals everyone, right? Yeah, see the see the well the well is just healing him. What the fuck? Not okay. I wasn't aware the well's going to heal you, sir. Not okay. Too much, too much hassle to handle. Mistakes were made. I need more time. Did not expect level well to cause this level of of problems. Oh no. Heal me. World. Could I just back out? Yeah, I could just back out. Not the point. I have no Wait, that, that thing is still not slain? Thing still persists? Not okay. Stop healing everyone. Okay, we're, we're, we're good, child. We're good. We're, we're alive. How's the grind going? Uh, honestly, it's go, go, going good. I mean, we're, we're not we're not grinding gears today. Today, we decided to do a, a little little challenge. We wanted to see how fast we could actually push rope forward. And my goal is right now to do the capstone dungeon. I already tried to do it at level 35, but we just decided that doing it at level 35 is really not what you want to do. Because it, it just didn't feel good at all to do it at 35, I'm honest with you. I remember thinking 35 is like easy peasy lemon squeezy, but mm, turned out that it it wouldn't it wouldn't be easy peasy lemon squeezy, to be honest. So we, we decided that, that that really ain't in. So yeah, we, we didn't want to play the, the Necker today because what you know mix it up a little bit. I think tomorrow we're gonna be Hunting for better gear again to to get some improvements, but not today. Today is like the day of solely going forward with uh, this. Like, I mean, we're we're two hours forty eight in. Mm, I was actually wishing to have beaten the capstone at this point already, but it just turned out that I simply can't. You know, I mean, my goal is still the capstone today. I think at, at level forty is probably what we're what we're aiming for here. I notice a considerable slowdown at this level here right now, and actually not like I, I'm not keeping, I'm not keeping the speed I wish I would keep, which is interesting because again with my with my Necker at this point we were already in World Tier Three and we were just getting faster, not slower. That that's like that's an intriguing like downside difference, sadness.
not not really sure like what, what's causing the the slowdown you know Keto Bill, make it sense to replace any prey on the weak for the 4 to 5 empires for to be more tanky. Nope. Prey on the weak is essentially mostly your your source of vulnerable, so why would you why would you you know put your source of vulnerable out? I'm not ready yet. Also, the fortify doesn't really make you more tanky. Also, you are incredibly tanky, so I, I don't know what, why. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't know what level of tankiness you're looking for, but you are already at the ultra tanky tier. The, the some of the tankiest uh, you will ever be. So I, I'm I'm not sure, you know, why you would want to be m more tanky, where you feel like you're lacking, you know. It's like for all my necro builds, they're kind of like at the S tier tankiness. I'll just just uh, just spitballing, okay. Well, sure. You, I mean, technically you can do that, but practically it, it should not be needed, especially because the tankiness from Sanguine Brace is only like as long as you're fortified. But what what if something like breaks your fortify, then then that that's always like gone, and that's where it kind of sometimes if, if it's like your only source of fortify, it's like kinda, I kind of don't like it because then then it's just like as soon as it's gone, it's gone, and you're not getting it new. Um, that's where I just like that. Okay. Almost 38. And probably with the, with the next blood harvest, we should be able to push the level significantly up. I am either also either I'm like very bad with robe, right? Or I, I literally don't understand why people call Necro slow leveling. You know? It didn't a Necro also win the race to to 100? The Blood Search Necro? Not sure. Straight Twisting Blade, you'd be a lot faster. You but I'm not playing Twisting Blade because I find that skill not, not aesthetically pleasing. And the, the main reason I'm playing a bow is because I just I just like the bow more. So that that's my that's my hold up. Why am I actually playing bow? In case, in case you wonder. I simply do not find the other skill in any way enticing to play. Since you all don't give any experience, it's not worth it to spend my time with you. In rapid fire, I, I, I like rapid fire, but I like penetrating shot more. Such a, such a such a fun skill. I just I just like area skills. What can I say, Chad? I'm a I'm a sucker for area skills. I'm a sucker for area skills. Do -do 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 -do. That's a bunch of spiders. It's also, interestingly enough, a super high amount of lucky hit chance, right?
more spiders. Come on. Is Ro Rogue actually s slow with any skill? Haha. Uh -huh. Fantastico. Nothing's needed. Everything is just for free. Let me, let me see if there is. Maybe, maybe level 38 down here. Spider. Is there maybe level 38 down there? I need more time. Yeah. There is. Who would have guessed? I need more time. Rain? <laughs> Rain? Uh, Rogue feels more like Mong. Try leveling it three times, just can't. No, I have to say it, it's not... I don't dislike leveling it. I just see where I really liked dr leveling Druid and um, Necro more. So I, I see where they were just more enjoyable and, and in total just like a, a better strength level. But not that, that Rogue just feels bad. Just Just doesn't feel as good as, you know? But it feels good enough because I, I really like these boosts of lucky hit when suddenly like the lucky hit is hitting and you're just like soaking back full up of your um of your resource. That's that's kinda of, kinda of cool. I mean we're now 38. We're gonna we're gonna push it to 40 in the like within the next 20 minutes, roughly. And then we can do it. Not sub three hours, sadly. I wanted I wanted to do the the thingy sub three hours, but maybe maybe I don't know enough of rogue to to do it that fast, you know, it's always the thing. Maybe I just simply don't know enough of the rogue. But I hope you're enjoying this, by the way, Chad. Hi, name's Ponyhoff. Pleasure to meet you all. If you just joined, recently joined, have been here all the time. I mean, it's it's quite fun to to play different classes. We're mainly playing Necro, but now we're essentially giving you a little bit of the rogue leveling journey. Um, to just try out something different. I mean, tomorrow we're probably back to doing more. More min maxing for the Abba 12 Zier because we really want to be ready. So that's gonna be more like more more derail push and in, in that direction to to really be able to weasel out the last the last improvements before things hit the fan and we are going to be live in the evening on that day. Some funny Abattoir of Zier. And then after the Abattoir of Zier has dropped, we can we can also slowly start preparing some other content than Diablo. Because that was a lot of Diablo as of late, right? And and people are used to be a bit more variety for me, so. That's a joy, just hitting everything at the same time. Now, are you gonna summon more things, please? I need to keep running because when I keep running, then I uh, keep restoring essence. Uh, I keep getting more resource. Ow. Sorry, don't mind me. Just blasting everyone in existence. Oh, 
It's funny how how you how you're just like if there's only if there's only one a lead, and you know uh, like that that's where that's where Necker sometimes has to blink right when when there's only one a lead, uh it could be a problem. But then you're just like burr, burr, dead. As the rogue, hey, I, it's just like so built into me. How old are you? I'm 34. Quite old. I'm literally a grandpa of the gaming industry. I know there's older streamers, but you know how it is. As soon as you're past the 20s, you're considered dead in the gaming world. Funny part is, though, that being older has helped me tremendously to actually have stable partners, you know, to also be hired uh, more than younger streamer with better numbers. Because realistically, what what do what do game developers want? They want something they can rely on. You know, when they tell them to be online at 12 p.m. on a Saturday, then I'll be online at 12 p.m. on a Saturday. I won't I won't be I won't be out drinking anywhere. I won't be late. You know, I won't be not having my panels and banners done. No, I will be there, and everything will be done, and we'll have a killer promotion happening. You know, so that's what you do. You do, you do be professional. Well, that was, it was kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. And yes, the bar, the bar is that low in our industry sometimes, guys. Just, just the minimal, minimal amount of professionalism is already, is already a lot of professionalism, to be honest. <laughs> At least in our industry. You have enough dust for the Abba 12s here. They cost a lot of dust to make. I heard so, and I have around 15,000 dust, which is not enough. But I do truly hope that they actually do adapt the cost for these sigils before it goes live. Because right now, with, with what we're anticipating the sigils to cost, or what you could see at the live stream, um, they're currently making a big mistake of making the sigils too expensive. And that would be a horrible mistake to make, to be honest, because if they make the sigils be too expensive, um, then, you, then you're essentially going to be forced to farm other content just to do the Ever 12 Zier. And when you're forced to do other content to do the Ever 12 Zier, that is horrible because you just want to do the Ever 12 Zier. Like, you know, I, I don't I don't want to see the inside of a normal normal Nightmare Dungeon ever again as soon as the Ever 12 Zier is out, right? As, that's like that's like as simple as it goes. I, I don't know how I don't, I don't know how to say that simpler, right? But I don't I don't ever 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 want to ever touch again a normal normal dungeon as soon as that out because because it's gonna be out then. Like why why would I why would I remotely waste my time you know in a in a normal dungeon in a normal Iron dungeon, especially when Abba Tier Twelve Zero gets you like a thousand glyph XP per per thingy. I I just yeah. I don't know why they would try to limit that one again, like what would what would drive them, but you know how Blizzard is, they they tend to they tend to sometimes weird take weird routes and weird twists and turns just to just to get things done the complicated way. Chichikai with almost 60 centuries of support. Chichikai, welcome back, brother from another mother. Very good to see you there. Hope you're doing well. Hope life finds you too good. Christmas ready, Chan. You got all your presents already. You're not you're not slacking. You're not struggling. You're not like me and my wife who haven't bought a single thing. I mean that's not true. We have new we have new toothbrush toothbrushes for the children on Nikolaus. Yes, imagine guys, it's it's Nikolaus, the sixth. You're getting the he's bringing something, and it's a new toothbrush. And you know what? They're still going to be happy because that's, that's, you know, that's children for you. You're daddy now, Chichikai. That's what I like to hear, my friend. Did everything go well? I hope, I hope it did. Congratulations. I do, I do wish you the best. And as always, the best uh, parenting advice for you. Uh, uh, improvise, adapt, overcome. Yeah. <laughs> Best, the best parenting advice you ever get. Just wing it. In, ca in case of doubt. Doubt. Yeah. Congratu congratulations. <laughs> there's, a, there's no secrets. 
There's only there's only the struggle that we all go through and that we try to make the best out of. I was just sleeping now, it's a hard night, yep. They happen. As long as you as long as you and your wife are able to turn take shifts, that's that's usually what helps. You know, when like when, when everyone has their, their baby time a little bit. Uh, that's that's what, what that's what we did, you know. One sleeps until baby needs help again, and then the other one sleeps until baby needs help again, and then the other one sleeps and, and, and so on, rinse and repeat. It helps when the when the baby's uh, not being bottle fan, so so you, you have more more ability to support uh, when when the baby is being bottle fan, uh, then then you have more more ability to support. Oh. Complicated. Also, sorry for the adult topics, chat. We are an adult community. In case you're not used to this, in case you're a child yourself, uh, we, we we're, we're a bunch of old farts with children already. We are a bunch. You know what? I should get used to. Like as soon as we have this part of the dungeon done, right? Just just leave. Because I always, I always tend to do the second part of the dungeon. But if I'm honest with you, the second part of the dungeon is not, not actually even worth it. Because it just makes things complicated. I mean, this, this is here the part of the dungeon that's, that's the, the worth it part of the dungeon, you know. And then you should actually go out, go back in. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest. Just, just did the, just did the complicated part the whole time. But technically, why, why, why would you do that? Like, this is, this is like, you know. Do the easy part with the with the easier opponents and then and then come back later. Is Flicker 7 okay in Blood Surge? I do use Flicker 7 Blood Surge. The thing why I use Flicker Step is mainly that I that I just do a, like I, I find it very hard to find good boots. I mean we cre we created the, the perfect boots technically that we're looking for, but actually finding finding the perfect boots is yeah. It's not it's not really easy. The, the, the problem is that that boots just have so many so many useless stats going on Like I, I want I want like essence cost reduction and I want movement speed and I, I want I want all stats preferable were intelligence and like all, all these things and I've literally not found the boots yet. I mean like like I would you get so many boots, but I, I have I've yet to find the boots That are made indeed for walking and that's what they'll just do. They'll just walk over you. But have indeed not found them yet. Yeah, you know what? I was thinking about fighting these guys, but then I decided that that's way too much of a hassle. And we'll just do is we'll just keep pushing and we'll just shoot our arrows here down the line You know what? That rogue is annoying. I said it. I'm not taking him back. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. No. Oh! First time, the first time I've ever gotten killed by that. 
Okay, so now now that we have done this, we're level 39, right? And we want to teleport out to Kirichan. Oh, I'm I'm wondering why everything feels so weird. Chat, I, I figured out why everything feels so weird. Why everything feels less effort easy. Because we're in world tier two. I'm wondering why everything feels so much more so much more sluggish. While we're leveling so much more sluggish. Because we're in world tier two. Do you remember when I said that world tier two is like just super terrible to go into? Yeah, it is just super terrible to go into. It just will slow you down inevitably. There's like there's like no questions asked. World tier two will just be an absolute drag and will just be an absolute pain. Okay, here. Uh, where's my where's my gloves? Unexpected. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Repair everything. Already struggled my way through. Like, like, see, this is this is where I was saying like the dungeon just feels like we, we're way way too long taking to go through it. Every enemy is just having way too much HP. And despite despite being like decent at it, despite being decent and, and doing decent damage, we're still kind of like sluggishly just slugging through. And that, that's just not in. So yeah. Let's see. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, the capstone dungeon with level 39. We wanted to wait for level 40. 39 should be good enough. Hopefully. We'll see about it. I didn't gain much life, but I have a lot of armor. I have good attack power. quite the speed ah Why did Necro just feel so much better? Why did Necro just feel so much better? Chan. That's crazy how 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 less efficient this is. I'm having my hard time struggling through that, which brings me, by the way, to the thing. Uh, no, that's not what we're looking for. When even even the first the first mobs are just feeling hard to kill. Yeah. Now yeah, you get some more grinding to do. This is this is not it, chat. This is certainly not it. That's not how I, I can beat that. Even even on you go twisting blade. No, I don't think it's a twisting blade thingy. That's just it's just a general like rogue feeling not so t powerful thingy. At least at least for me right now. I'm rather surprised because I've seen I've seen like rogues level with this. By the way, we're wrong world tier chat. Now we're right world tier. It's actually wait 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 wait. I didn't think about this. But does the does the world tier does reset um World tier does reset whispers, right? What do you go world tier one? Because world tier one is just way faster and more efficient than world tier two. So does does the world tier reset whispers? It does. So if I actually do world tier one whispers and then I do world tier two whispers, that that is it's amazing. I never I never thought about that during leveling, but that makes like super sense with a blood harvest. I'm not ready yet. Yeah, your suburb whispers. I, ne I never thought about it because I never needed it, right? Because we had the speed. But if you if you if you just think about it, that's that's actually really really smart to do. Huh? But luckily I only had to level up like three characters to finally understand that. 
I'll keep that in mind for the next season. You know? It's a good implication. So why 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 do you do World Tier 1 over World Tier 2? Because in World Tier 1, you're essentially just killing everything faster, and you're killing everything more than 20% faster. So by by doing um World Tier 3, you're uh, by by doing a World Tier 2 the whole time, you're essentially just slowing down your own kill speed. Uh therefore killing killing everything slower and and like the bonus XP you're getting is not worth it, essentially. Oh, uh, that was, it was totally what I intended to do. Didn't want to do that anyways. But yeah. The drops better well too, too. Nope. I mean, you, you get, you get the blood harvest event. You go into the blood harvest. You only get yellow gear. So you're, you're ready anyways, straight away. I mean, what, 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 what for, what for better world tier two drops are you looking for anyways? I mean, the only thing you want is ancestral gear and before ancestral gear, everything is just easily interchangeable and completely useless. So, you know, it's not like there's some, some secret uniques you can get in early world tiers because they're, they're just simply not there. There are no, there are no uniques you can get. So any, anything better is just as useless as is because as soon as you're world tier three, everything you get from world tier one and two is completely useless and doesn't play a single role in the grand scheme of things anymore. So yeah, you just, you just want to go as fast as you can through that to then move on. That's why World Tier 2 is also known as the Noob Trap. Not because you're a noob, but just because people might think that it's actually better. But once they learn the truth, they understand. No, for, for, for like rogue that, that I'm like forced to, that I'm forced to walk to things has me sad. I just want to kill things from, from here. I never walked to anyone. Right. Viva, thank you for the 82 months, Viva. How's the family? Very good to see you there. Happy Sunday to you as well, brother. Uh, 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 why you feel so slow? I have to say, Dru Druid fell faster leveling. Chan. I don't, I don't want to do my boy the rogue like that, but Dru Druid fell faster leveling. Why is everyone always so hyped? Like, see, see, these are these are the things when I when I play these classes in general. I'm just like, why, why was everyone so hyped leveling a certain class when when it just feels so slow in the in the, in the long run? You know, when there's always the factor of me, you know, playing 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 it less efficient, but still for for someone that essentially knows nothing about the rogue class and then. And expecting it to feel like super, super billion ultra strong. And then it's just merely, it's just merely good. You know, everyone sold me rogue as the holy grail. Depends on build. It always depends on build, but still I, I got, I got sold. I got, I got sold. I, w I was told like, this is, this is going to be effortless. You know, it's going to be so insane. And I'll forget about my own class. I mean, this is what barbarians tried to tell me, right? And and then I then I start barbarian. I'm just like, but but I I'd rather like you know play my own slow class than ever touch your barbarian ever again. Thank you. <laughs> it's like it's like thank you, but I, I'd rather play my my slow shit before I, I ever 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 touch your touch your barbarian again because it really felt that bad. 
That's just me. Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm just weird. Who knows? You know, you're, you're Shadow and Shaman there. It feels like feels you're very uncool, brother. Okay, I'm already at 12. Well, when 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 did that happen? When I get all the whispers done there. Has it been confirmed that the new Advent Glyph will get to stay and still can't find info? No, no, no. The Abbot 12 Zier thingy is only for Abbot 12 Zier. Where's the best class? <laughs> That's a good joke. Black Razor, try again. Whoa. Next time I'll also be faster than combo points, but I think I'm playing combo points. I'm playing combo points. I can't do that. I can't do that. Oh, I get three skulls still. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna make sure that I always have three skulls, Chan. Okay, we made it to level 40, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, which gives me that. Uh, the like With level 40, I, I truly, 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 truly really wanted to uh, beat things. Mm. Already. But I honestly don't see how I could do this on 40 right now. You know? There's no Germany. Yes. Mm. The Sork Oculus build. Yeah, I've 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 seen Sork Oculus builds. It's it's quite it's quite something. For some reason, Sork, Sork doesn't have, like, my interest this season. I mean, Sork, Sork ain't bad, but the pinnacle build being Lightning Ball kind of has me non-excited. Like, there, there's nothing there's nothing aesthetically pleasing about that. And that being said, I'm, I'm just I'm just a chi Chain Lightning sucker. Chain Lightning and Fireball throwing nerd when it comes down to Sork. So, so that's obvious why, why nothing nothing intrigued me there on, on the Sork side. To find vampiric structures. Thank you very much, vampiric structure. It's a pleasure to meet you there. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Bunch of lucky hits happening. And yeah, we need we need more. We need more vampiric structures. Come on. Where where, where are they? Where are you hiding them? It's always fire or cold. Lightning is new. Nah, honestly, it was it was lightning also in season one. I mean, I, I made a very good chain lightning build that just absolutely obliterated everything. So I was I was really happy with that. But I just like the like it was after they fixed chain lightning, right? So so chain lightning was broken, obviously, until they. They had like all the chain lightning bounces to finally to finally count as the bouncing they're they're doing. So so that was like when 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 that was fixed, you know? And chain lightning was finally bouncing bouncing the way it was always intended to be bouncing. And given the resource, it always it was intended to be resourcing. <laughs> why is there why is there like one puny ghoul with with all these goats around so we get we get like and we had snow and now it's ice because we, we had a lot of snow but it was kind of like this wet wet snow and this wet snow all now with with a very windy region i live in Turned to ice, so it's it's actually like on on our on our property. It's it's very 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 slittery. I'm gonna be looking out whenever I step outside to not break your leg straight away. The 
po that the postman doesn't break a leg as well when he delivers the package. So, so that that that's what it's right now. Very very, very icy outside. Uh, but but I hope to like I hope for the snow to go away because I still have, there's still a lot of things I have to do in in, in and around the property right now um, to to like uh, clean up and that, that's all hidden below the snow right now so that's kind of like bad. Okay, where where are my vampiric structures? Corpse fire has been burned. And do it. Okay, so if I'm not able to do the capstone at level at level 40, and I wasn't able to do the capstone at level 35, well, what, what level am I going to do the capstone at then? right now right now right now i wouldn't even say i could do it at 45 you know i'm, I'm i don't have the, i don't have the confidence right now chan i don't have the confidence that i have with my other builds rogue gave me like this like like no no other class than rogue has given me this zero confidence feeling in what, I, what i'm what the class is doing Like I need more damage, but I don't only need more damage. I need like kind of I need more damage, but I also need more survival. I need more everything. But why is rope? Why does rope feel so squishy? You know. Aha! Uh -huh, you're so dead. Then, like not not really like at this point we're also not really getting better items anymore because so you kind of are like at the at the top what what you can get from this oh there is two vampire structures hopefully please please be two vampire structures three vampire structures thank you very much This is interesting because now, now, now that I have this done, I could actually swap over to World Tier Two, and that's what we talked about. Now that we have this done, we hand it in, and then we get World Tier Two, and then we do the same again. You know, Rogue feels squishy no matter what build you run. Yeah, it's weird. You see, Humanity, we're using Humanity already. Mm -hmm. We can get like more dodge, but we have this, that, there, then, thy. So all of these are taken. That is taken too. That is taken too. That's max level, max leveled. Uh, this is all taken the way I wanted to. Taken. Don't think that's missing it there. I can't see Rogue and Harker pushing max level in new events too risky. I mean, they they all definitely do it. I mean, why? Why would you not? People, people will always push the boundaries of things that are possible. Why? Because why not, right? Always, it's always going to be a big, a big why not? Why would you not just stretch what's possible as far as you can? Like a crazy map, man. Right? People, people just, people just love to do that. 
And you know what? If their character dies, next character. So now, now that we have done this one, right? Technically, let, let me let me see this. We're back to Kubachan. An umbral aspect and disobedience. Yeah, disobedience might definitely make sense. Because now, if you're swapping over, now, now I swapped over to World Tier Two. Why? Why does World Tier Two not have the, its own whispers? Or was I World? No, I wasn't. The whispers didn't refresh. Weren't the whispers supposed to refresh on World Tier? I suppose they would. I got robbed by myself. Okay, I'm back. Back into the back into the capstone dungeon. No, wait. Let me let me make forty two. I'll make forty two quickly, and then we're going back to the capstone dungeon. My was my Sirocco cavern. Forty two went back into the capstone dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. Until until we get it beaten. I only ever die to stupid bugs or lack on hardcore. So back to Wimpy Software, like Rogue Dash and getting stuck still inside Rock's Wall ETC. Yeah, I, I still don't understand people playing hardcore with this simple with a simple thing that the game is just literally waiting for you to to run into a bug. You know, where do you level this fast today? Uh, we mostly did Sirocco Caverns and the the um the Blood Harvest event. So essentially you go blood harvest, you do the whispers, then you live in Sirocco caverns, then you go into the next blood harvest, whispers, and so on. You know? Actually pretty, pretty damn nice in, in the like like the back and forth. I have to say that Necro was a bit stronger. Necro was also more powerful. But I think the what why is Necro more stronger and more powerful? Because Necro is inherently very tanky. So despite despite being a squishy character, right? Despite being a caster character, for some for some reason Necro is inherently tanky, which which makes him just excel at the task of like doing doing things they're not supposed to do. Um and that that's something that that, that rogue has like a struggle with because right ro rogues are inherently untanky, right? It's actually kind of funny to to think about it that way. And well, the the overpower help because the overpower like allows you to do more damage than than you're than you're allowed to do. Yep, overpower's cheat code, guys. Overpower literally allows you to just do more damage than you're legally al allowed to do. And that 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 really helped to to like go through through stuff in. Incredibly easy. Especially when we're looking at, and also like let, let's be fair, like freaking freaking blood surge is just an ability that hits everyone equally much. You know, so so right now my 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 penetrating shot we're using here might have these uh arcing things that are like might, might have the bonus damage that's going off after hitting an enemy, right? But that bonus damage is only doing like a, a like a minimal amount of your actual damage's damage, right? Whereas when you had um, blood surge going on, blood surge just is the like damage the same damage to everyone, right? Blood surge doesn't discriminate; it just literally does the same damage to everyone. So everyone standing around you in a circle, same damage. Let's go. Which made it very cute, to be honest. I'm not ready yet. Rogue squishy and fast. I, I like the fast aspect of the rogue, but I dislike what comes with it. You know. <laughs> so the, I, I like I like that you're that you have this fast like dashing around and things, but on the other hand, like like the. The flip side, right? That that if if you're fast, then you gotta be more squishy. So it's like, hmm. 
Can I, can I, can I not take like a little bit of tempo out and, and just be tankier instead? Remember the problem with the shaman again that, that just chooses to be unkillable. Give me that lucky hit chance. Where's the lucky hit chance? More of that. Give me, give me that level 42. That's the only thing I'm aiming for here right now. Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like, want to get that level to, to blast everyone around me. Thank you. Hee <laughs> hee. If I just if I just go back into that in the capstone dungeon now, I'm just gonna get my ass handed to me again. Let's go! What could possibly go wrong? That that makes that makes no sense, Neil. We all know your argumentation is flawed on a base level. Okay, it's snowy outside. The children haven't been outside all day long, so. And that's going to be my goal after we get our shenanigans done here. I take Tiny Monster Hoffs 1 and Tiny Monster Hoffs 2 to the to the outside. Unexpected. Okay. Oh. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade all my gear to to like like I'll do it now, Chan. I'll do it now or die trying. Die trying probably. They're done. Well, combo points for your basic attacks. I, I I technically know how that works, but I just I just tend to generally just yoink it out. I mean, like you're right, every every attack does a combo point, so technically you want to to always have three points before you blast out the damage, right? You're flawed on a fundamental level. I am flawed on a fundamental level. I mean, we talked about the Necromancer being flawed. You know how it is, Neil. Rob robbery. Robbery. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's let's see. Let's see if this works. And worst case scenario, I'll have to listen to chat and just go away from penetrating shot just to do this dungeon here. Because I feel like I, I gotta be able to do it at this level. I feel I feel like absolutely robbed that we're not able to do it yet. That's a nice little zooming through you can do. I'm not ready yet. Oh, I was that was nice, cool. Okay, I, I, I killed some things, John. I killed some things. See? Someone said it wasn't possible. Hunter's crying. Stop being so tanky. Stop having so much life. And we're, we're, we're like, if I, if I have full potions, I can do this. Let me, let me, let me, let me like quickly go refill my potions. Then, then I can do this. I'm not scared, Chan. I just, I just need full potions. Need 
Come here, let me quickly get out of here. I need, I need, I need to. I need to, I need to quickly let me refill my potions. I need to, I need to, I need to be full of potions that, that I can kill him. Okay. If I, if I get this done, I, I think the boss is easy, right? You know, we, 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 we should, we, we should like, I, I'm going to say that like, if we, if we make it to the boss, the boss is going to be easy. Just, just the way to the boss is going to be absolutely atrocious. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the first one is down. Let's go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh no, what? No, I was, I was, I was like, I was in the zone. I wasn't paying attention. No, I'm cool. I was, I was in the zone. Robbery, Chan. No, no one can see me. I'm invisible. Very useful. Do, 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 do. Does this, by the way, do with more combo points? Oh, oh, that's more arrows. Cool. I don't want to say it, but it's not like I've actually never looked at the combo points, Chan. Well, that's bad. Like, I can't find him and the other guy together. That's simply not happening. Oh, no, no, where did you go? Cotton Eye Joe. Uncool. Okay, next one down, chat. We did it. It was only like 20, 20 trillion ages. You're dead. I haven't found out when my um when my skill actually punches the dude over. Fine. Right? Oh shit, I just opened the door that I didn't shouldn't have opened. But I haven't still figured that one out. Whenever whenever my skill actually pushes them over. You know? Okay, I guess I have to kill the other lightning dude first. Jesus, this is gonna take it's gonna take ages if I have to kill everyone. That's really, that's really not what I'm hoping for. Ed, good to see you there, brother. That's very appreciated, my friend. So I, I don't, I don't, you know, they like a pretty, pretty like. Your full energy knocks him down. See that? That's good to know. So what I technically want to have is like all three combo points and then I then I want to then I want to make my ability for sure crit so I get the most arrows out available, correct? That's what you technically want to do. So like one, two, three and then you activate this and then you get to get the eight arrows out.
ready yet. Got him. Whoa, pain. Okay, now, now we're going to go for the other side. Only two more days until the Abattoir of Zier. I hope you're all as excited as I am. Because we're really looking forward to the Abattoir of Zero. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll survive that. I'll survive that. I'll survive that. It's going to be fine, child. Like, there's easy peasy along with squeezy. Like, you know, no questions asked. Like, you know, easy, like, like, you know we, we got this. We got this covered. We Invisible. This, is this how rogues speedrun tier 100 dungeons by just making sure they're they're concealed and you're zooming through you know is that is that how rogues do it from behind okay, done done Oh, no, not one of them. This part of the dungeon is going to take ages, Chan. I'm fighting I'm fighting demons here, Chan. Absolute demons. The the mo the moment where you're where you're like fighting this this like little inquisitor dude. And he's just he's just taking everything out of you to kill to kill the, the Inquisitor. Oh we got him! Holy <laughs> I'm running the infinite essence build and struggling in Nightmare 100. It's not sure why though. I'm guessing it's an armor issue. Well, like it's it's 90% an armor issue. You'd be surprised, but if you're if you're guessing it's an armor issue, it's 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 probably an armor issue. Because that that's like like that's where that's where most of the Nightmare 100 struggles come from. Because when when your armor is just not on point, the damage is exponentially higher. So it's it's not like you're taking a little bit more damage when when armor is not on point, the amount of damage you're taking more is just so much higher. It's it's just stupid. So yeah, um, if you're if you're struggling, 99 percent of the cases. It is indeed an armor issue. I'm gonna try to get that guy out alone, you know, so so I don't have to fight both of them at the same time. I didn't even have full essence, and that knocked him down. Why though? Okay, we're we're getting we're getting them, Chan. We we got this we got this part of the dungeon almost done, ladies and gentlemen. I know you didn't want to believe it, but we got this. You got 12k armor and you die at nightmare 100s uh, nightmare nightmare 80s fast. What, what class are you playing? 
I mean, armor is not everything. Like, it's mostly an armor issue, but armor is not everything. I mean, if your resistances suck, for example, they suck. Um, right? And, 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 and again, like, the Nightmare Dungeons are supposed to deal damage to you, right? So it's, it's not like you're not supposed to take damage there, no matter how much armor you have. You're still supposed to always take damage. Oh, we got it. Done, done, Chan. <laughs> I'm not sure how how I'm supposed to kill the boss. Are you German? Yes, I'm German. You see, like, the, the rest are all at 70%. Druid Pulverize, you shouldn't die at 90, 80 at all with Druid Pulverize. I mean, depending, like, it, so so the thing is, if you're if you're playing with bear form and if you're playing with a chest that gives you, um, if you're playing with a chest that gives you more armor when you're in bear form, and you are not making sure to use your skills proper, then you could end up in a situation where you suddenly don't have enough armor. Let me teleport out and get the potions back up. So, so you might end up in a situation where you don't have enough armor when you're taking damage, you know? Okay, let's see, let's see that. Our 42, pretty cool. Honestly, the 42 is actually pretty weak. I feel like we could have been faster. Also, that we're struggling so much in the dungeon. I'm, I'm not sure why I'm struggling so much. I'm not sure why I could, how I could make it better. I feel like Rogue should be stronger at this level. I mean, it might be down to the skills I'm using, but I don't feel like that. That that is like the main differentiator problem here. And the fun part is we can just run through everything, right? We don't actually have to fight anyone. But then I'm not sure how to kill these dudes here right now. Yeah, how am I how am I supposed to kill all of them? That's what I'm that's what I'm not sure about. I mean, with with blood surge I walked in the middle and everyone just died. You know? Okay, we got one down, Chan. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, got two more. Okay, got it. Chan, got it. Oh. I mean, as soon as it's just me and him, Ryan. Out. 
I like like the, 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 the crazy part is when I when I consider my blood surge build on level 35, I just walked in the middle of all of them and they all just died. You know, like like just just in comparison, you, you literally just walked in the middle of all of them and they just died. So now 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 the problem is we we need to kill every single person in this in this part of the dungeon to essentially make it to the next part of the dungeon, right? So in order to fight the boss, we need to kill everyone here. So that's a problem. Is there a way to build up um, combo points but basic attacks? Or is, is basic attacks like oh, the only way to build up combo points? You know? Well, do you do you later have like abilities to build up more combo points? I need more time. I just have to take it a bit slower with my rogue, right? God, I'm out of I'm out of things again. Wait, I'll be I'll be back. Give me a short second. I'll just need to teleport back to give a chat to get potions. <laughs> Grim, thank you for the 18 months of support. This is so crazy. This is so annoying. This is so laughable. But we'll get it done, okay, Chan? I, I like this is I want to do it at level 42. If I do it past level 42, I would just feel like a complete failure. Uh, you know, a absolute complete failure. Which we already do right now due to just simply um, feeling like so plenty weak in comparison. Jesus, that one that one just hitting me from Narnia, right? That's what we're talking about. I'm not ready yet. One day, one day we'll have everyone killed Chad. Oh no, there's more! There's more coming. Not cool. Sir, ma'am, I'm just I'm just basically getting done here. Okay, we got it, chat. We got it. To to me. Oh no, no, there's one alive. One alive. Thumbnail on YouTube is pretty good. Thank you very much. We we took a while to get that one done for today's video. We weren't, we weren't sure about it. What are imbuements? I, I literally don't know what imbuements even do, sir. But also the build wouldn't use imbuements later on, so I didn't want to get used to imbuements at this point. You know? Because the, the build doesn't, doesn't use imbuements. If I don't use them later, why would I use them now? Kind of philosophy. 
Maybe that's a mistake, you know? Maybe that is indeed a mistake. Oh, no, 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 no. Where did the elite go? There you go. Time. Give me that. Heal again. Hey, shouldn't I be unconcealed when you when you do that? Watch me, chat. I'm doing it. Maybe for the boss, we'll have to go for an imbuement. Who knows? Oh. No, out of my way. Out of my way. Guys, don't worry. We got him. We got him. Okay, we got him. No. <laughs> Chad, it's just one opponent. We're we going to be able to beat one opponent, right? Okay, we got this. Yeah, you get a lot of playtime value. I, I am definitely getting a lot of playtime value, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's painful. It's painful. My, I'm not, I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna get that capstone dungeon done, Chan. With, with pain. With pain. Dude, you're saying, you're saying I need the shadow imbuement, whatever that does. Imbue weapons with shadows, your next imbuable skills deal shadow. Infected enemies, affected explosion, death dealing, despise the enemy, dies, deal damage to all. Okay, interesting. I can, I can do it without. Don't worry, Chad. It's not it's not it's not many rooms anymore. We're we're already we're already in the in the final sprint, Chan. Come on now. And this is this is this room, and then and then we just gotta clear that room, and then we're already done. I'm gonna kill some of these inquisitors because they they all just turn absolutely pain in the butthole if you don't kill them. We all know how annoying on a scale from one to ten inquisitors are. Okay, we we got this. Chad, we have a thing. I think we're getting the we're getting the rotations nailed down. Oh yeah, you have your shield on your back? Yeah, let me let me kill you. Ah ha ha. Okay, 15 remaining. Ladies and gentlemen, 15 remaining, and then we get the boss fight, and then we'll just we'll, then then the struggle bus begins, huh? I, mean, I, I should be able to avoid most of the damage the boss can deal, but I'm just not sure about the ads. Like how 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 am I supposed to deal with the ads? Oh no, what there's so many more coming. I'm cool. I am not ready for this. Do I look like I was ready for this? I'm not ready yet. Uh huh. No, don't don't whoop out your shield. I was I was just about to to whoop you whoop you den. Okay, done. Okay, we got we got him, chat. He 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 revealed himself for a second there. Let 
Okay, ladies, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, everyone, we got it. <laughs> oh, okay. Whew. Don't don't recommend doing this chat. I mean, honestly, leveling to this point has been fun with the with a build in World Tier One, but that 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 dungeon just really felt like hell so far. You know, but but leveling leveling until this point or up to this point has has felt good. You know. I guess I could just stand out of range. So the question rather is why am I standing in range so I can just hit him for, for combo points or is it... build is different than that 50 plus build oh i do understand that don't worry i mean it's not my first character although i feel like we should we should be able to get this done I guess I'm not supposed to stay in him the whole time. Probably, probably meant to just jump into him, hit him a few times, then go out, and then range him even more. Okay. Oh, oh that's that's bad now. Ow, 
I kind of I kind of like the the dash in dash out kind of thingy, you know? Oh, ow. Oh, ow. I guess that, that's like my only problem. I'm running out of heals here right now. Ow. 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 You need more damage. So so this this isn't this isn't this isn't gonna work, you know? Yeah, I, I need a different I need a different basic skill, that's for sure. We need to go for what puncture right now? Is that what you're saying? Because I just I just need to stay on range. So what is it? Puncture throws blade to spread each dealing damage, or we're gonna go uh yeah so we can go for ricochet i guess instead of, instead of that so we'll definitely need to go for a different basic skill because it simply can't can't do it when i have to go back into range you know i'm just gonna stay on range there so i'll, I'll accept that you know that that the the choice of basic skill might might just not be Yeah, that, that's going a bit better. All right, it's, it's still not it's still not like solving every issue. But I guess that that's also never would have meant to do, right? Hey, this is that this is definitely going smoother than before. Oh, really? You just hit me there? Uncool. Okay, that that doesn't work. That doesn't work, you know. So so puncture puncture definitely made life easier, but I guess I'm just gonna go for the for the triple puncture thingy. So so that's that's that. Uh, you're saying inner inner side was that attack marked enemies to fill up your inner side gauge to full unlimited energy for four seconds. Okay. Oh, well, we can we can try. You know, we can try.
Oh god, I died. That, that didn't help, you know? That that that, di that didn't help. That didn't help. I mean, the, the inner side was interesting though. Like like I'll I'll give it another go, but I'm kind of missing like my bonus cool damage there, you know? Oh, we'll, we'll see there. When I'm I'm kind of missing my combo points to to do like immense damage now, you know? Because now I have infinite essence, but what does infinite essence use me? I probably should shoot the other ability when I have infinite essence, huh? I guess that was nice, you know, having having infinite essence there or or energy. Sorry. Doesn't doesn't solve my overall damage issue though. I once I once had to learn this for hardcore because I wanted to like know how to how to never oh, what happened there we actually staggered him I oh, get together Great. I didn't. I didn't see Squan. Oh. Ah! It fell over. Oh no! 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 You're not, not uncool. You can't be summoning already a second row of opponent. Still busy with the first row of opponents. I don't have any potions. I, I, I don't have any potions. Yeah, I've, 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 with, with combo points, we did better, Chan. With, with combo points, we did better. You know? So, right now, what, what did you say? Now, now Chan wanted, wanted to force me to use uh, Shadow Imbuement, right? So, Chan, Chan still wants to force me to use this. Um... Poison? points plus shadow will take the well so so i'll take i'll take rapid fire or do it do i put concealment away now here here do i put this away i'll take you just saying poison and poison and uh poison abuse kill them apply double the amount of poison damage yeah so critical, critical strikes will do more poison 
Yeah, you can only imbue with one. I understand that. I understand that. You know? Chat, chat wants me to, to be a cool imbuer now. I feel like I'm doing more damage, chat. I, I, don't, I don't feel like I'm doing more damage. More damage. Okay, so you're saying poison with combo points now. We're, we're, we're narrowing this down, chat. We're narrowing this down, okay? Maybe some gems now. We gotta do this without gems. I mean, like, I'm, I'm just like, uh, we'll see. Uh, it, Varun, it works fantastic so far. Okay, let me, let me repair my gear. So, like, I, I didn't feel like I was doing much more damage with poison there. Uh, but you're saying poison and combo points it is. Okay, well, we're learning, chat. We're learning. Also, armor is only broken when it's red, my friend. Yeah, but I kind of, I kind of don't like the one puncture. I'm going to go for the triple puncture at this point. Is there more damage in less time? I didn't feel like that, honestly. That, that poison was useful against the ads, though. No poison. Is Ari eingeschlafen? Hmm? What have you done? Wait, I can't do anything, since I got hit with the poison. Yeah? Okay. Also weißt du jetzt nicht, wo du deine Aua her hast. Okay. Das passiert. Das ist nicht schlimm, Mäuschen. Aber wir haben keine Pflaster mehr. Ja, ich weiß. Ihr habt alle Pflaster aufgebraucht, Schatz. Es ist Sonntag. Alles ist gut. Zeig, zeig mal. Ich glaube, Mama hat noch Flaschen von ihrer Verletzung. Die kann man vielleicht schneiden und Okay. Hello. Okay, so so that poison abutment ain't feeling like it, you know? Yeah, everything looks way easier for Necro. That's what I'm saying. Like, like Necro, like, I did this at level 35 with Necro, Chan. And I'm not talking like good gear or anything. I mean, pro probably I just suck with Rogue, you know?
Kisten. Interestingly enough, the rapid fire is better at taking out the minions than uh, the the um, Okay, this is the first time I've seen more damage now with the with what I'm doing, you know? Oh, great. Great. That was, that was bad. Okay, well, we're getting this. You use the passive skills for poison damage. Well, which you mean? Like like here here in the tree? The passive skills, like you deal bonus poison damage, poison damage, you less damage, you gain attack speed, freeze enemy of poison, or, or what do you mean? Hmm. Uh, if I can only put one defensive aspect, which one? Speed and shielding storm. Always shielding storm. Raise. Take attack speed elixir? Nah. nah. Only use rapid fire when I have three combo points, but it feels so bad to use it when you when you have full energy because then you just want to use it straight away. Okay. Am I doing more damage or not, Chad? I kind of would like to really stagger him now instead of... Uh fighting the things because if I stagger him then everything dies I have no potions. I have no potions. No, no oh, potions. No. <laughs> okay, I think I think we have this, Chan. Come on, we 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 cracked the code. We figured it out. Well, who, who's believing? I want to believe. High fives in the chat now. This has been the greatest painful experience in existence, but I, th I think we we figured out how to do this. Uh, I, th I think we we gotched it. Gotched it now. Ready 
Oh, great. Okay. Oh no! I'm not ready yet. It started good, and then and then we we started falling off, Chan. No, that was too much damage taken. Well, we're going to get a good stagger here. That's for sure. <gasps> no, I go I went through him. No. You can kill this uh this uh, boss with 32 with twisting blade see like I, I i i don't believe that show me show me a video and i don't believe you that you can do it with 32. by the way that was a really bad try now i was i was not focused That, that that was that was good. Oh, come on now. Okay, for, first and foremost, how many how many do you how many how many core spells do you want? And the answer is not allowed to be yes. You know? Because if the answer to how many core spells is yes, that that's just that's just rude, right? Oh, we missed we missed out on a lot of damage there. That was a good damage face here now, though. Oh, this is bad. We hate when that happens. Yeah, oh, it was so good. But, but like when he does this and the minions at the same time, I kind of get stuck. That's that's where where's my blood search there, Chow? Where's our blood search? Undertaker thing with the 71 centuries of support. Okay, come on, Chow. We 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 got this. I'm not sure if I want to change one more thing. I, I see like we could take the poison. We could take the poison. Um
Oh, wait, no, what killed me? What killed me? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Like, so one thing I can do is I can take of the, you know, the close damage reduction. What was it? What I wanted to take off something with movement speed, right? So there, there was, there was, uh, some like here. We can, we can do this, increase more poison damage, and we can do poison do 5% left damage. Yeah, we got this. The undying power. I don't actually have the undying power on, I think. That's actually an interesting point where we could put on the undying power just to make sure to heal. You know, you're right that that actually makes perfect sense. Why didn't I think about that earlier? Shadow Reaper, thank you for your support. It makes no sense why I did not do this earlier. Oh man, I must thank you for my failures because you're absolutely right. I mean, especially as a rogue who does like a billion attacks per second. Usually when you walk in a circle, it's like, it's like an auto, auto, like, um, okay. How did we stun him so early this time? Can someone explain that? you stay like inside of him then then you're safe right the poison damage increased did it really do that much more stagger That's bad. I can't I can't do my circle. No. Oh. oh. It's crazy how much more healthy though the the um undying vampiric power has you. And it's stupid how long it took me to actually recognize that that was missing. Thank you for telling me. Like I, I thought I had it on. Like it's actually kind of kind of sad that I didn't have it on for the longest time. Yeah, bitch. Ich hab doch gesagt, ich bin gleich fertig, Mäuschen. Ich brauche noch kurz. Hier ist noch ein böser Mann. Un absolutely unnecessary levels of pain and suffering that were absolutely not needed that made no sense i mean like upgrading my bow though by these many levels is cool absolutely absolutely unnecessary pain and suffering we did it you know self-inflicted challenge it was super fun um I, I i am very happy we have this chan and i think we deserve it but that took us so much time now. It took us like an hour to do, right? <laughs> oh, and I, I, I liked it. So, so currently, currently wrapping up Rogue on how I feel. Leveling feels okay, but I have to say, Necro leveling feels so much better. Not saying that there's not better Necro leveling builds, but um, like, like to be honest, like. I, I did the good rogue leveling builds, but I, you know what? I just, I just really like necro leveling more. Vastly more in every singular way. I'm, I'm, you know, that that's just, that's what it is. Enjoyed it more. That being said, we're done for tonight. I will be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. We'll prepare further for the abattoir of Zero. 
I will say I am enjoying Rogue regardless. So Rogue is still fun. Rogue is not horrible. Rogue is kind of nice. And well, I'll, I'll be back tomorrow, chat. Thank you for coming, watching, lurking, chatting, hanging out, banging out, being with me. Can't wait to bring you the full Abbott 12 Zero experience. Until then, just have a great, fantastic, good time. Uh, the VOD on YouTube will actually go offline for now. And then I'll bring that live later because I'm trying out something new, okay? See you, chat.